live. I hope we're live. I think we're live. Hey, I'm live. I'm Ben. Welcome to Connects with Guitars right here on YouTube on Monday nights. Unless you're watching on replay, then it's on whenever you hit the play button, I guess. But I got 18 people in here. Tried resetting the router. That did fuck all. Perfect. We got one bar. One fucking bar. So if you're watching on replay, go ahead and comment down below. You're blurry! Yeah, I mentioned it 15 times last week, and apparently people were watching with the sound off, I guess. Let's see, who do we have in the chat already? I can see the chat. You can't see me. We've got Terry's 3G. I almost said Terry's 3D. I'm sure he's in three dimensions most of the time. Keith Campbell's here. Symmetry. Gear Junkie 35. Rock Daddy. Bent Tom. Dan of New Jersey, John Duchesne, Gear Junkie 35, in case I missed him earlier, T. Ricky, Guitar Man 45, Janice Lala, Joe Hervey 84, BC Rich 581, LRM Guitars, Martin, LRM Guitar Corner, nice, Keith Campbell, JP Page 2, nice, Hip Metalworks, Quentin James, yo. Randy Crooks. Wow, these strings are... Yeah, they stink, they're old. It's all, like, dark spots on them. Yeah. I forgot how high the nut is on this thing. So, sorry, uh, John Shane playing D chord. Just, just mute it. Petros designed hat. Wow, these strings are like the opposite of coated. It's like, eh, eh, eh. how are the frets looking? Completely tarnished? Pretty much, yep. Clearly haven't played this guitar in a while. Oof, those upper frets are just all kinds of tarnish. There is no, no shine. Okay, nope. As soon as I started talking, it went down. Dang it! And it went all the way down. I am almost at the point of not even going to bother doing this anymore. It was a good month while we had it. Terry, you want to jump on? Because I'm about ready to throw a guitar across the room with this lack of bandwidth. 
How about you, Tom? Perfect. Yep. Excellent. I'm sending out links. We're going old school. Fuck this. Oh, I even reset and... Uh, yeah, my internet sucks balls. I don't want the full messenger experience. I just want to send a fucking link. Because that's how my day's going. There. Let's go over to... Where, where's the home? Is that home? No, I don't want YouTube as home. Why... YouTube shouldn't even be home. Yeah, it's all good, Tom. Do you want a link? Do you want a link, Tom? If not, I get it. Okay, Tom says I can jump in. Perfect. Good, good, good. All right. You're just whining? And I am, yeah. Not impressed. Bear with me, folks. Not that you can see what I'm doing anyways, probably. I'm so blurry. Blurry. There, 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 there. Sent without a subject. You sure? You want to send a message with a subject line? Yes. He knows what it's about. He's waving. Hang on. Let me let me do this. And we're going to have Echo until I change my settings back. Look at Super Terry. There. Echo cancellation checked. And there we go. And we're back to check, the, check, check. the not as old format. I'm about, oh, I am pissed. Hi. Sorry about that, folks. Welcome to a co-host. Why, why are you all leaning over? <clears throat> How much can I swear in one show, Terry? Because I'm in the best of moods, can you tell? Well, once you've gone past five minutes, you can swear all the F you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought, you know what? Because I keep getting low reception, even though we know right on the other side, here, right on the other side of the NAS Connect set is the workshop. Yeah. Oh, look at that light. Yeah, I'm missing a panel up there now, too. Perfect. It fell down for you. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Anyways. So, Thomas Santiago. Thank you. Ah, so, yeah. The router router was right behind there. So, I thought, you know what, Terry? I got the phone landline, if you will, in here. And I thought, why don't we bring it in there, rel relieve a wall, maybe that'll help with the connection. You know what it said? I don't recognize this phone jack. I'm sorry, you have no internet. So at 7.55, I was moving shit back into the other room. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Anywho's, welcome LRM Guitars, Michael B. Ponytails half fallen out. We're just going to get rid of that all together. Well, I oh, put some later. I'm now st st stable. Uh, it is. I'm not. Oh, I'm sweating. Yeah, the audio level's been fine. It's just been the video that's been kind of compressy slash blown. Yeah, and I figured, you know, the first couple weeks it was okay, for the most part. And then all of a sudden it decided to take a big hairy dump last week. So, fuck it. This hat isn't even comfortable tonight. It almost it's makes me wonder. I've worn my hair for two years, Terry. i got to tie it back. I'm not used <laughs> to have my hair down anymore. I was going to say, I wonder if it's maybe the, the Robert's backbone breakdown affecting it. No, because I'm on hell known as Bell. Well, yeah, I know. Besides, I don't think any real infrastructure uses our phone lines anymore, except for me. All right. So Randy Crook says, I never thought I would say this, but the 59 FPS Paul I got recently has really dampened my desire for more guitars. It's just an incredible guitar. It's not too shabby. And that's why... Al Jean Go is somebody who should be in the higher up company and not in the lower. No, nah, he's company. pretty much running that company at this point, so he's good. Slash brand ambassador. No, Al Jean's exactly where he is because they don't, you know, apparently you can be a douche canoe and still buy a Gibson. That's why you can have Agnesi doing what he does. You know. but, <laughs> I've seen the best <clears throat> video earlier. From the guy who does the controversial videos about the YouTube guitar community. He had somebody who bought a 2019 Gibson Les Paul. And it actually had a quality control issue, but a very unique one. Oh. About a almost like four centimeter hair curled into the top clear of the finish. Nice. Speaking of that Paul. <laughs> Well, that's like, uh, what was it, the, the Les Paul that I reviewed for Long McQuaid, which they sold and got back, because under the clear coat is a clear thumbprint. 
Yeah. Like, so we'll put ourselves <laughs> in the birth, and then we, we'll just cover that over. You can't cover up imperfections with clear paint. That's not how it works. <laughs> nope. <sighs> yeah. Definitely not. Hi, Tom. What's up? You're still looking vegan. That looks good. Yeah. It's an inside what? joke. He's not a carnivore yet? He's no, uh, no, I was... Uh, when we were doing our Zoom call the other day, uh, Tom joined in while he was power walking, and everyone was saying how great he looks, you know, after being sick for so long. I said, yeah, he doesn't look like a ca cancer patient anymore. Now he looks just vegan. <laughs> Ooh, but, what's yes, this? Yes, here, we got a solo. This came in the mail today. That's a rarefication yeah. situation. I wonder if uh, Unbelievable shows up, we can show it to him, because I bet it's you he shiny it is, though. though. He buffed it it's out. Such... See, yeah, I'm almost wondering if a certain gentleman may have had those housings around in the shop, Tom, and then when he finds, you know, enough germanium chips F sitting around. S, F, L, and Pi. Yeah. What is it? Is it a fuzz? Is it a... Oh, it's a fuzz. Yeah. With old, what, Muller? F and L, I would assume, are fuzz and level. Um, I'm going to yep. guess S is probably like saturation. Something like that. Hmm. I don't know. Um, I'm guessing the ohm, ohm symbol is probably the bias. Fred Burfel. Yes. I don't know for sure, though. but That, that would guess. be interesting, considering based on what the Phoenix sounded like. If that's well, something the that's... thing is that was for sale, but it was from Dorian's boutique, I believe. Yes, but when it arrived today, guess who it came from? A certain wizard that makes such pedal. Yeah, hmm, I apparently... thought it was from a. I thought it was from a secondary party, Terry. You know what it is? I bet you it's one of his kids. It, it one of his kids going himself. into his shop after hours, just. That Going. would be funny if it actually was. That would be hilarious. Got a little side project, you know. Screw the lemonade stand. I'm just going to sell some of Dad's pedals on like, the black. Like, uh, Tom, I gotta contact you. There was something I was working on that was a prototype. It's not out yet. It's a germanium thing, but somehow you got it. <laughs> What's up, Dave Ennis? I will tell What's you. You know Dennis? me. I'm a junkie. I knew it would sound good because you know Lawrence made it. I haven't even plugged it in yet because I've had a busy day. But I did take the, I got my drill out real quick. My, I got the drill that's on slow motor speed so you won't, right. you know, blow out the, you know, the uh, Phillips head screws. But I was able to get them off quick and look, and it's got the original Mollard OC72. So it's kind of in the vein of that, like, tone bender type germanium is what I'm Ooh. assuming. We'll mm -hmm. see, though. We'll see how it sounds when I plug it in. I'm like no spark. How's it going, my friend? Good to see you. Yeah, I bet you is hot still in the UK. Well, you Keep saw it for the, price, for the price I got it. I couldn't pass it up. That's what I said. Based on Lawrence's other fuzz, a Germanian fuzz done by him, that would be. If anyone wants awesome. to know how good a pedal builder Lawrence is, he can build a fuzz that even I will use. I have four. That's Let me tell you true. This. I have four fuzzes from Lawrence. This is the fourth one, or do I have five? But anyway, one of them I have duplicates. Hey, I have two of the same one. That's how good they realize are. Realize that doesn't need to be ongoing in my right ear all night. <laughs> no. <sighs> no. I was going to say, I was going to update the description. I think I said something playing music badly. Nope, covered that with the high nut and the low frets. That's not a good combo, Terry. You can't have high nut action and no fret action because you're pulling it all the way down. Like, I was looking when I play, I'm like, should I see the strings go through the Is nut and they come down at an angle? Have, Terry. Yeah. That's one you have, yeah. Dos Phoenix. I almost got one of those Phoenix fuzzes. I love this, too. I don't remember why I was going to get one, but. Oh, yeah, the Gila. The Gila fuzz. Gila. I almost bought, uh, there was a Havelina the other day, but it went like super quick, and I think it was only like 80 bucks. Jeez. So, I realized I've got rid of all my mini boxes from Lawrence back in the day. So I got to find a box so I can stick this in the mail. If, if you can't find, or if Lawrence, one of Lawrence's is too expensive, 
because some of them are. I think these little ones that MXR put out for the price are awesome. Yeah, you like Ooh. them. They're like a hundred bucks, but I was at a guitar show. Like did two years did ago. we say hi to Captain Sexy himself, Boner James, in the chat? I asked the, him, I was host like, of the Under the Bus Network. I, I didn't realize it was a network. I guess what that's what they that's it's like lingo for panel show, panel discussion. There you go. We're a network, are you? Are you? Are but you? I mean, yeah. I think these these little ones sound good. Yeah, I've heard that they're really good. This and is like you said, my, the price. That's still my favorite part. But... Yeah. But I got this when they were cheap, and now they want way too much for them. Hilarious. You should have seen the look, Terry. You know how I get when people hold up certain pedals, and all of a sudden, you're like, I'm this guy. But I'll tell you what, for a When I started to pull apart, because he, he wasn't paying attention, he got home from his walk, and he was. He wasn't quite paying attention. All of a sudden, he's like, what are you opening up, Ben? I'm like, what, this Phase 45? He's like, we have to talk. I've never seen Colin do that to something <laughs> other than an amplifier or a vintage speaker. Yeah. It was an immediate reaction, yeah. Well, no, yeah, because by the time you looked up, I was showing off uh, the Analog Man sticker on the inside of the cover because it was modded by Analog Man. And you're like, what is? What is that? <laughs> Easy, dog. I was like, we're going to have to back, and all of a sudden, holy crap. It was like a feeding frenzy in my brain. It was like me seeing a pile of DODs covered in dust with no boxes. I almost bought a DOD. Each one has 20 bucks each for them. You because it's the year of the, the Dodd, but someone bought it too quick. It was yes. one, like one of those. I think it's one you don't have. But anyway, I won't tell you which one because they bought it real quick and I got annoyed. Somebody was looking for a Dodd EQ for me. I think it was Scott. Someone is buying up Dodds. I think they've been watching your channel because I go to buy one for you because it was only like 60 or 70 bucks and it was a more rare one someone boom reverb snapped it up right away yeah so someone's got to be looking for my all right uh, for those again. watching live or on replay this is not the year of the dodd no. nobody wants dodds they are worth nothing they want to give them away <laughs> the year of the dud so send them all yeah, it's the year of the dud not the dodd <laughs> that's right terry Although, Jesus, if it keeps up, it might be the year of the boss at some point. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Um, there's, well, you can see that whole shelf. Wait, how, how do I do it? There we go. That right there is all full. But what you can't necessarily see is on top of this amp, all the way across is bosses as well. So there's like the back one there. There's, well, there's nine over there. And then there's another five over here. And then there's one over here because I, I didn't put both phasers up next to each other side by each. So. Hey, Ellen. Oh, Quentin got a new to him chair today. Nice. Awesome. Find it on the side of the road, end of a walkway. It said free or best offer on it. <laughs> I'll approve. Uh, What's up, Laz? Boner Jams. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Semi held comment. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, Randy Crook says, Here is my signal chain. I assume this is in the exact order. He says, At the moment, he's got his guitar into a dark side. Okay. Into a soul food. Yep. Into a Boss RB6. Into an MXR Phase 90. Into an LPD 68. I have into mm. a bass breaker. I, I would move that, that Boss. Chain. I assume the RV6 is a reverb. Yeah. I would yep. move that to the very end of my signal chain. Yeah. Um, basically, I would swap the 68 and the RV6. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I would do. Yep. That's me Those personally. Those breakers, I think, are a great deal. You know, it was weird. A lot of people shit on them, but I'd go in to just noodle on a guitar, and nine times, because they had just come out, yep. and so they had, a, like, all of them there. And I'd plug yeah, into all the all the I think it was a 112, maybe a 30 watt 112, maybe even yep. a 15. I don't know, but it, it sounded all right. I shit on them just because I tend to like boutique stuff till I heard one, and then I heard someone really know what they were doing. It was uh, Rabia on Anderton's a year or two ago, and he was playing a bass breaker, and I'm like, you know what? Those don't sad bad. At, don't sound bad at all. Like, well, what do you expect? Like, like, it's a, it's a little. I don't think there's no tubes at all. I don't think 
It's all. It's like no, they're just. That's like, as I recall, wasn't it? It's like solid state with a hair modeling thrown in, you know, type I, thing. I think it's analog, though. Yeah. Yeah. Something like there's some kind. Yeah, like there's something going on yeah. there because there's yeah. voicings and stuff. Right, but I think and and I like the fact that they kept it old school, Tom. They got the old piece of crap, not quite laminated, more or less waxy cardboard that just sits on top of the amp with the presets. British tone, American tone, whatever. I don't care. Those are presets, basically, to give you an idea to dial in. I have no problem with that. Yeah. Yeah. LRM says he puts phase before overdrive. That's fine. You can do it both ways. And you know how I know you can do it both ways? Because I have one before and one after. Because I figured that's fine. Uh, Speaking of which, I almost did tonight's topic. Like, I decided, Tom, I'm going to start doing topics on Mondays. Nice. Just, you know, like throwing something out there. Hey, it's this, you know, just to mix it up. What's up, Edison? Um, and I was going to do phasers because, you know, I'm pretty sure I own eight. Yeah. So I think. I don't know. I'm pretty sure as I look around the room because I'm pretty sure wherever I look, there's going to be a phaser found of some kind. Um, well, technically, there's three phasers on my board because I haven't ripped off the phase 90 and the phase 45 is just sitting on top of it. So. Nice. Oh, What's so, up, Sir Lawrence of the Pedals? Hey, Rocking speaking of Lawrence. Lawrence, I got your package today, brother. Thank you very much. Uh, no, I think, I think, Lawrence, you need to sit down with the family. Somebody is running Lawrence, a side business. Stealing by, uh, your stuff. Look, look stealing your stuff. Is. I don't know who this Dorian person is, but they the are uh, apparently selling vintage of, LPD gear. Yeah, the side is kind of shiny, but the front is super shiny, as is the back. I mean, you can literally see your face almost in it. We don't want to do that, though. You might throw up. You already see my face once. Let's see. We block that one. Maybe it'll make it a little better. Wait. Okay. Apparently, Tom's that's holding it. all the Q-tips. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's for my dab rig. That's another story. Here's a tip. Q tip. <laughs> Here's a tip. You need Q tips for this. <laughs> yeah. That's what it runs off of. No, it doesn't. Uh, okay. Everyone's saying hey to each other. It's just phase. Yes, I like all these phase puns. You know, that's fine. Uh, Keith Campbell says Randy's going big time throwback. Well, Randy is kind of throwback. Like, he's into your Doobie Brothers and Chicago and. You know, the 60s stuff more than the 70s stuff. So I get why, you know, he got the 68 Terry and he texted me, as often people do when they get their first Lawrence pedal. And he's like, dude. I'm like, I know. He's like, but dude. I was like, I know. (laughs) He's like, but Terry. He's like, you know, be like, but you weren't impressed with that, impressed with the 68. No, because the 87's more up my alley. My reaction to the 87 is going to be, randy's reaction to the 68 because he's more retro and it's mm, it is that you know um i like the fact it's one of the few plexi in a box that i have a hard time dialing in like i fight Mm -hmm. that pedal the same way like a real plexi exactly well tom how many times we bonded like the amount of time you're like dude i want you to come to my house and play my vintage rig and i'm like i don't want to play a vintage rig tom i love you but I'm going to sound like ass through your rig because I cannot play through that circuit. I've tried it. I sounded terrible. Although I would play a variety of guitars through it because to be fair, no, was I playing just a standard telly or hum- no, I played the humbuck, my Mexican telly through it. So yeah, I tried both flavors, single and double. And- I, I can't play six L sixes with dirt. I never have been able to. I don't know what it is. I thought it was the actual amp. I, I don't even. I, I tried it's three it's different amps. My blues Deluxe. But then again, I use all the flavor coloring anyway. So. Right, right, right. Yeah, if, if the amp itself is clean and the pedals dirt, then I'm fine. But if it's the amp, like. Yeah, like if you're relying on amp breakup. Like my evil Fender, my Nestle Evil Fender. If I turn the preamp the whole way down, I love the power amp when it starts to just break up. Mm-hmm. But. This must have been a, an amp when Dave was still using high gain amps because man, it's like JCM eight hundred meets Jose mod gain. 
And hmm. it's just too much gain for me. I can't play with that much gain. I had the gain on three and it was too much. I can't. I, can. I, I keep the gain on like one and it, a half it, or two. It's funny because like that's why I have so many overdrives on my board. Oh, here you go. Here's because the at some point, I start out, Tom, with wow. the 55 on, you know, like the tone I was using when I started tonight. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's a so six, low like a 65 or 66 basement, and then he gutted the circuit board and just completely redid it. Little daughter Jeez. board on there. But the coolest part is... There you go, you Scott see, Brockway. You can see here's the, two, here's the two 6L6s you can see, right? Yeah. But then look over here. You see two <coughs> tall egg sevens literally right in a row. Yeah. And a gap. And then there's one more here. So there's four 12 egg sevens. But it only has three 12 egg sevens with one channel. The other 12 egg seven is for a two buffered effects loop. Interesting. Oh. And it has two hey, knobs. Mark. It has a knob on the send and a knob on the return. So hey, who's a twin? Two oh, preamp, bless you. That was like all you the way back. You can take two preamp out to another power amp. You can take another preamp into that power amp, or you can just use it as a regular effects loop because it has both level blends for input and output. Which is uh, because I haven't said it in a while because he's been a busy man. We have the house of twang in the house. Nice. Hey, Mark. Why are the caps so small? Uh, because they're not big. Which <laughs> no, um, wait. No, I don't know. If you're talking about the yeah, for, no, the fortunately, that, it looks closer than it is, Keith. I, I, I projected rack adjacent. Oh, plug my ears, though. Does LRS <laughs> mean like some other caps, or does it mean in the amplifier? That was like a day's worth of sniffles all in one day because it's been all the rain on and off today, but still with all the heat. So, like it feels like fruitcake Tony's neck of the woods, where they're not really they're not really tiny. That that's not an orange drop. That's a cap that's literally about this big. It's huge. Okay. Yeah, it could but be it looks just like the an photo. orange drop from here. Everything else is normal size. Like this yellow cap right here is about that big. I, I'm just gonna say. We know Tom's a nerd because he has fucking photos of the guts of amps. Like most of us, if we have a picture of an amp oh, on our I phone, like it's usually us standing in front of it. Here you go. I have like 27 wow. high res 4K photos. I know it doesn't come through on my shitty webcam, which I'm ordering a digital camera this week because I'm fucking done with webcams. Excuse my language, but. I, that's okay. I swore enough before you came on because I am pissed <laughs> at <laughs> Someone's got to be the clean mouthed one around here. So, hey. <laughs> if my bandwidth with my urethra, urethra I'm not as classy I wouldn't be able to have You're kids. always a gentleman. <laughs> I try my best, but I'm never classy. See ya, unlike No Spark. Hell of a talent. Emily. Well, well, Played the bass and the guitar. Possibly piano, too. I'm not yeah, sure. take care, unlike No Spark. <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah, it's interesting what Tom was saying about having a hard time with distortions over various power amp tubes. Like, to me, I couldn't stand anything of the EL84 or 34s for distortion wise. Oh, I but love the EL84. 6L6s, for uh, some reason, I've always. Are you enjoyed. talking, though, Terry, when you play, are you playing at low enough volume where you're distorting the power amps as well as the preamp? tubes good question. yeah when i turn it up yeah because it would have to be at like basically i, I want to say stage volume plus because stage volume you're not even necessarily breaking up the power like you have to be even the drummer's like you loud enough dude that's when you're uh, hitting your uh, break up the power <laughs> right all right who's and don't one? yeah don't don't oh. mention that but let's just just let oh. everyone know we fixed the issue for tonight. Yeah, that's how I fixed the issue. I'm just like, oh, and let me just <laughs> okay. let me just let me just say because this will help cover it. Fuck YouTube for that. You know what I mean? <laughs> but we're gonna take care. We love you. <laughs> Actually, you totally took care of something that was discussed on the Zoom call before you jumped in. 
So speaking of Zoom calls, I know we talked about The only thing I'll say about that, Ben, is you know how your family and when I have a windfall and I have a beneficial thing happen, I like to spread the love. So that's what you you say to me. Yeah, you do. Yo. Um, That will, uh, yeah, be good. Um, Yeah, I was going to say, we're doing the Zoom calls. I would have fixed it even better, but that's the best I could fix it right now. Oh, that's no, that's more than fixed. Um, yeah, anyway, we've been doing the Zoom calls a couple times a month. They might go to three times a month. I don't know because we're having that much fun. Um, but they're open to patriot patrons, blah, blah, blah. patrons and channel members. Dude, we have a lot just, of fun. It's a group hang that uh, hey, bumble this, and uh, we talk. It's funny, I would say. Probably half of it is gear talk slash half music talk, life, right? And then the rest is right. life. Um, I do answer a fair amount of questions regarding the channel, uh, which are usually earlier in the call, which is fine with me. Like you know, like as much as how are things going to other stuff, which I wouldn't necessarily discuss on here, but I will right. on there. And it's not like it's salacious. It's just like it, it does better in a private small group. You know? Yeah, like, well, it's something yeah, I discuss with yeah. friends as opposed to. Exactly. You don't want out to on the street corner. It's a conversation yeah. I'm going to have. Yeah, in a private right. group. Right. It's the different. Well, it's the difference between like we know everyone that we know in the chat, but like literally, if it wasn't in that, some random dude from like halfway across the world could just see it and. Yeah. You know, well, like uh, Terry and I were talking about it, you know, yeah. and um, he was like, so who are in it? And other than I was like, you've seen everybody on the channel with the exception because I have literally because of the Zoom calls, Bo, Guitar Man 45 and BC Rich 581 both came on yep. as guests as a result. Um, yep. We've also Paul McNary is a character. That guy is a Paul's character. There. Paul's there early every time and stays till the end. I love Paul that. is there generally before me. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, love you, Paul. The, well, no, sorry. The last time, Tom, I signed in actually before Charles even signed in. No. So all of a sudden, I know it gets going. It's just Charles and me for, a, let's say, a minute and a half, I think, before Paul. Hey, and he even said, looks like Paul tried to get in early. So That's he, funny. he beat all of us. And, but he... I swear, like a lot of people use this show as a podcast. He's just sitting there. He's got the headphones on, listening away to us. Half the time you can tell he's got himself muted. There he is, the little culprit himself. He's yeah. in his chair. <laughs> he's got all kinds of he's the last he's going through boxes and so I don't know. I look like boxes of pedals. I don't know. And you know what? He's so cool about it. He isn't all, hey Tom, check out what I got. La la. No, he's more like if you want to ask what I happen to mess around with. I will, but if not, he's just sitting there. Sometimes he's having a snack. Sometimes he's hanging out with his cat. I know. I love when the cat's there. That's my favorite. Yeah, the cat just rolls in. Hey, what's up, Paul? All right. I love to see cats, too, because I'm, a, I'm highly allergic to cats, so I only get to see them when I'm not in the room with them. Uh, JP Page, too, as well. <coughs> he's been on. Yep. Um, who else? I'm like, who's been, who comes on? Or John DeShane's becoming a regular who doesn't necessarily yeah. come on the channel yet. John, you and I, we have to do. John's, we need John to stay on here. John's a lot like you, Terry, and a, uh, and a lot like Ben as well. You guys are, all three of you are really kind of soft-spoken and humble. But, like, when you guys go deep on a topic, I'm like, man, I feel stupid. Like, you guys are some smart dudes. <laughs> I don't know if we're just stupid it's, Americans or yeah. what it is. But, like, uh, I love it. Wrong. Usually it comes on. Thing, but I love that you guys are so humble. You're not, like boastful about your knowledge that's what's it's an, actually i back. would say it does skew more canadian yeah you know, I yeah say. people that are yeah. I hate loud americans that are just like no i know everything like that's my boomer favorite. been on thank you yeah yep. you know like it's funny keith mitchell boomer i'm like boomer's been on yeah uh michael b's been on uh brad miller and it's funny because it's rotational because, like, especially on a Saturday afternoon, how many people will dip in for 15, 20 minutes even? Like, Laz will. Um, and you and might I get to see to, stuff uh, early. Like, Charles showed the um, the guitar, the fabric top guitar, showed it early when he was working on it and stuff. So it's, like, cool inside stuff like that, you know? Yeah. Which I did and not ben see. Ben stays on way longer than 
like if you look at it as like an hourly rate, I think you're actually probably losing money, Ben, because you're on there like forever. <laughs> but you know, I'm not gonna complain. I Symmetry love is always there. there. Possible. <laughs> Symmetry is always a good hang. Trends I think uh, Symmetry is going to become probably a semi-regular on the Sunday night hang if he's cool he's with that. Always there, yeah. You know, much like Aaron has becoming yep. a semi-regular, like I, yep. I'm kind of getting sick of running after people to book on the show at times. So it'd be nice hey, to have Trev or people. Aaron or semi-regulars. I'm fine with either or both. Yeah, yeah as long, you know, as long as the crowd is there. <laughs> yeah. One week. Well, I even said week, one week's the Canadian ho uh, side kick week. So you go Aaron one week, and then you go Trav one week. Sorry. And Trav, I. Said. Oh, I was gonna say I even said that to Ben a while back when we were talking about guests. That I said, you know, it never hurts to actually flip flop guests to a Sunday or a Monday show. Yeah, that's true too. Did you get a new camera, Terry, or do you have new lighting? Because your blue looks so on point. Like, it looks really nice. <laughs> well, actually, since I've lost weight, I'm actually able to wear this shirt, and it's a lot yeah. looser on me. Yeah, you're looking thin, And man. I do have the light on, and also this is the Logitech <laughs> Brio 4K webcam. Oh, I also heard he ate a vegetable the other day, YouTube Tom. Lower, you're picking up more information, right? He ate a vegetable yeah. the other day and stood out in the sunlight for upwards of eight minutes. Yes. Right. <laughs> yes, I'm actually tanned. I'm not actually pale. <laughs> yeah, but you can oh, also don't see even the get this on got... your arm. That line right there, Terry, you could never see that. Put your arm right Yeah, see that? Yeah, dude. Yeah. You're making a big difference. Uh, you just... You literally added back 10 years to your life. Yeah, I'm I got all the fun last week. It was, uh, I don't know if Mark's still in the chat here. I think job, it was mid-80s with, you know, fairly in a lot of sunshine, Tom. And I decided to wear a tank top outside. So I don't know if you guys, you know, it's different with the lighting in here and stuff, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, there is a line right here. Yeah. <laughs> The, the shoulders are like, we don't usually get that exposure. You know the funniest thing? I used to do a lot of shoulder lifting because of the work I did. So I had huge shoulders all gone within like, you know, a month and a half of laying in the hospital. All gone. That's the first thing I'm going to build back. Doing the race. I, I've had bad shoulders for a number of years. And That's why like, I do shoulder exercises. To they're make like, you have yeah. decent shoulders. I was like, no, only because I was gigging. And, you know, loading in and out gear. 100% holding the guitar too many hours. Yeah, that, yep. yeah, between that and, yeah, just, you know, let's move a 412 around, you know, yep. like, okay, tattoo even artists just here and there, too. here and there. You know, it's it's weird, you get it, tattoo artists, dentists, surgeons, it's like all of us, but it's anyone who uses their hands, for some musicians, use your hands precisely, but you can't stand up straight. Because how weird would it look if you were trying to shred or trying to play punk and you were like this? Mark. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was going to – I was always laughing at reading oh, that. <laughs> that's why I have no bandwidth. He's stolen all the pixels. And then I took a couple of the pixels. Terry, though, has all the pixels. <laughs> yeah. We're oh. the ones keeping Ben up. <laughs> I got to remember, Tom, I was going to take a photo from my webcam point of view with my chair missing for you to throw on for – show me your pick this week. Just – jump on and just have my background instead That'd be awesome. but with that this exact point of view so <laughs> I've, been I've been about to repaint my wall for five weeks now that's why my green screen's down and it just looks like that didn't even make the bed today so just gonna be honest about it well you know, it is. were you expecting when to be on tonight's show a man no. in your 40s you know these things happen What's up, Presley? middle-aged man that lives you know oh i should say alone because <laughs> i have my two kids here we have three men living here technically by the under the law, but two children and me. Um, but when you don't have a female living in the house, I should say, or 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 a male yeah. that cares, you know. I only make my bed every day because I hang out in my room most of the time. It's, I have the studio, and then my bedroom I use as my living room essentially. Right. So, you know, I just sit on it type thing. And yep. so I mean, me and I get a couch. I was gonna have a couch and living room area over here, but then we started the NASCAR podcast, and I'm like, hey, I got a bunch of crap I can put out. I was like, well, that, and then that limits to this side over here, maybe one day. But there's, 
my record collection still sitting in boxes as well. Next as, thing you know, Ben slipping. <laughs> <with the laughs> no, 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 the curtain. <laughs> you don't well, see. you know, it's funny. Before I had to gut my basement and take everything out because we had, you know, black mold and it was just, and the wall was falling in. It was in, insane. Mm. But anyway, that's another story to tell. Ben, you've heard that one before. I don't know if you have to yeah. carry that whole saga, but that's another story to tell the chat another time. But anyway. Before that happened, I used to have like a couch and kind of a setup in the basement because there's a no uh, fireplace on the first floor, but the basement had a fireplace that went past the first floor and then out the chimney. You know, it was like yeah. kind of in-laws quarters down there. There was an office down there, a little kitchen. That's the only thing that was not down there was no no stove and oven, but everything else, you know, sink, bathroom, uh, a little, uh, you know, like powder room, that kind of thing. So we had to gut it and get rid of all of that. So now I don't have that area at all. I'm like, man, if I fit that area back, someone's like, you putting a recording studio in the basement? I'm like, hell no. And they're like, why not? I'm like, basement's going to be a bedroom. Living room, when you first walk in my house, is going to be like one of those, uh, kind of like the, the room where you sit on the couch if you want to buy a really expensive guitar at a place. Except I'm not selling stuff to anyone. It's going to be just a couch, but everywhere around it, it's just going to be equipment the entire living room well and let's be honest band. yeah anybody that's ever recorded or rehearsed or jammed in a space where a guy said yeah i set up a studio in my basement great so i got to carry my gear through your house and not that's knock down any fucking pictures on the walls you know yep. you as knew right to away room. there's no pictures oh. in that room there's going to be sound deadening up in the room there's going to be everything i'm going to open the wall right now that's close to the kitchen because yeah. it's built in the 70s and then it will be one room that's like 30 feet well, that's by 30 like, feet, two rooms. When together. I moved in here, you know, I was still playing on gigging, obviously, at that time. Yeah. And literally, I kept the room open so I could just yep. grab gear here. And it's literally, as soon as I go out of the room, I go up a flight of stairs, I'm in the garage. Yep. You know, and even then, this time of year, if I was gigging, one of these amps would just be sitting in the garage all the time. I would just so wouldn't even bother. I like, would... I yeah ben, my dream is when my son you know eventually gets sick of me and gets old enough moves out of the house because i have a three bedroom and kind will probably live with me you know indefinitely so my dream is kind and i use one bedroom get rid of the huge queen and just get two singles because he uses a single now we can share one bedroom that is just if you're tired it's 10 o'clock you want to go to bed you go in there like a dorm you sleep right the yeah. other one i want to put my bed on one of the things because i have a like a california king because I used to, you know, use it with my you know, ex and, you know, two people sleeping in it. Um, but I want to get one of the things. No, Terry, don't go there. Um, get one of the things. No, I'm the, sorry. I'm laughing at Scott Brockman's oh, okay. comment. I was thinking I was thinking dirty in my head. But anyway, where you can actually, it, it puts the bed up flat and then it's on like a spring. Of like a Murphy bed. Down. Yeah, and you and then lock it down. But I want that Murphy bed out of the way because what I want to do is, put glass a glass window between my room and my other son's room right now because they're right next to each other same size one is a control room one is a live room and but when i mean live just for guitars or vocals run the cabling down through the basement come up into the living room and the living room is the drum slash other guitar live room right so the whole I house is essentially one recording studio that just happens to have one and a half bathrooms. A I, I was like, I, I like the one idea. Bedroom, now, if you, you do know? the Murphy bed, that when it goes up, you have the amps right there. So it's like, yes. whoa, there's your stacks too. And, and the mattress itself, because you don't need a box spring for it, is actually absorption. Yeah. Yep. So, it, you know, it deadens anything behind it. It's just the Japanese home that are like five, 600 square feet, but they fit everything in it. That idea. I want that yeah. all, you know. Double thick the walls, but fit the Murphy in that double thick slot. Or do you, or and, do you like? <coughs> I was just thinking you have like one of those rich man type places, you know, where they got the little the dugout, the like wall, a, a just nice for a statue or something. Studio. Except you do that for guitars yeah. and or amps. It'll be a nice. Amps are, they're they're literally built into because, the walls. <laughs> because you're not rebuilding a whole studio, you're just repurposing an entire small person's. Well, I'm a small person, but entire small house for a normal person into a studio instead of having three bedrooms you have one bedroom and the rest is the studio you know That's i was gonna know. i was gonna add and the other benefit of it is is when tom has the one girlfriend over he can shove her into the bed so he can hide her from the other girlfriend 
Tell her says women will love it when they I walk in. No, it's pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much female ladies. Ladies. You part. have two separate rooms, you know. Or if you want to get really kinky, there's two beds in the same room, you know. <laughs> Been there, done that. You know, when I was a much younger man. Never had more than a trio. Speaking speaking of reading off the patrons and thanking them, segue. All right now. Yeah, not that I reminded you to do that. Cool man. Fans turn that <laughs> so like chainsaw. Sharing hey, spot, but I don't want to pour some. What? All right. So, so uh, what? Go over to the banners here. We can turn this off. I want to shout out the patrons as I do each week right here, and you can become a patron at that address, or just go to the website, type in the name. Uh, no particular order. Uh, we'll go with Grumpy Mike Guitar, Blackjack Guitar, Ben Tom, Fruitcake Tony, JP Page Two, John ZD Three Fifty One, Charles Seventy Five N, Unfucking Believable, Knucklehead Zero, Keith H, Joe C, Paul McNary, Symmetry Guitar Man Forty Five, Fur Burful, uh, T Ricky, LRM Guitars, Mo Hogany, Randy Crooks, Other Left, Absolute Mayhem, Charles Green, and Cousin Todd Flowers, the King of TikTok. Who? I actually want a really nice looking guitar. Yeah. I was like, oh. Ooh, wow. <laughs> so, yes, uh, we love having patrons. They're a great part of the support team. Appreciate it. And uh, one of the perks is, you know what? I might be doing two blooper reels this year, Tom, because... Nice. Now that I'm not doing the playing demos this year, I haven't done any, so there's not a lot right. of... It's a lot of, is this thing on? Is it <laughs> what? You know, or just aborted intros. Oh, you're just... Like, I'm pretty sure one of them, I'm, I'm about to do... You know, surprisingly, really hard to do is a soda pop reaction video because you only have one chance to do it. Once the can is open... You know, right. like once it's open, that's it. You got to stick with the take. And there was one I think I was close to opening it, and I'm pretty sure a guy had a Harley with none of the baffles in it, and he wasn't on the highway. He was on my road. Yeah. And he just said, and "I'm like, I can't even hear myself talk." It was all the decibels. It was yeah, all that the was decibels. crazy. He, he used up. He stole all the decibels out of the area. So I was. Yeah, Ben, how good are you in picking up strains by smell? Now, now I, I'm not trying to tell if it's like not at all. purple grape, you know, purple grape mayhem thunderfuck. Whatever. It all smells pretty I much mean, the same basic, to me. Basic, basic. <laughs> I are smell skunky. I smell no? piney skunky. I smell fruity skunky. That's about it. See, my nose has gotten. I don't believe those people who like are the high end wine people. Cause I think a lot of them, it's just, well, I, I also know people have a much better sense of smell than me too. Cause my sinus, I have a fun. really good sense of smell for cannabis. And I don't guess what side effect of smoking cannabis is fucked up sinuses. Yeah. Well, I don't, I never smoke it though. I a hundred percent. I only vaporize it. Or yeah. But it's still yeah, it's the same thing, but less. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I get, but I get so much mucus and yellow shit anyway, but so it doesn't matter anyway, because I think, you know, heart medicine now, and it makes your, um, like I take a blood thinner, but a side effect of the blood thinner is that you get this mucus buildup in your Ooh. nasal passages. So it comes out as not to be gross, but like that hard kind of mucus when you have a cold yeah. or a really bad side effect, it comes out like that all the time. And they're like, oh, so you, you just totally got to deal with it. Yeah. You know, just got to deal with it. It's like, oh, uh, random uh, oh, on a daily basis. Sweet got to deal with it you know hang on oh there, there we are nice. uh l and m aka martin of lucas and martin's guitar corner out of austria i, I was on their last show uh, and guess what guess what symmetry showed up tom so it was like nice. doing a zoom call yeah uh, by the way I we'll have a live stream this thursday at 9 p.m i don't know what that is. it's not central eastern time it's uh central european time i think which is six hours ahead of me. So it's three in the afternoon Eastern, Austria. noon Pacific for you West Coasters. If everything goes well, we'll wire up the Zoom Live Track L8, which is like a unit thing with two captors for mics. And Okay. So, okay. I'm just going to say, if you've been, first of all, if you're a longtime viewer of this channel and you haven't checked out their channel, shame. Because Martin's been around... Since before L and M Guitar Corner, he's been around. By the way, I just posted the link. Thank you, Terry. I was going to get to that. So, um, 
one, you know, he's been supporting the scene forever and a day. And two, if you like the OG Canucks with Guitar Show, but say you want Henning Pauly's accent thrown in for a measure, <laughs> that's what it is. Because they're like, hello, we are Canucks with guitars. And they, except they're not. They're, hello, we are Lucas and Matum. We are Ellen and Guitar Corner. And Can I tell you that we're... It's fucking awesome. awesome. I love it. And I'm not making fun of your accent. I love your no, accent. He's very close to where my grandfather was from, although my grandfather was... And I will say two borders, times. Hard borders, my grandfather was Ukrainian, but he was actually what was called Rusin. He was what was called a Lemko. It's a very small group of people that lived in the Carpathian Mountains. But they're not far off ethnically from the people that are very close to where he lives in Austria, which is interesting. Hmm. So I wanted to mention when I was on with them, I'm like, you know, I do a certain things, lifestyle choice. They're like, yeah, we don't care. I was like, awesome. So they were me, so cool. The extra trip is well, about every twelve and a half to fourteen and a half minutes, Tom. I'm I'm like English isn't their language. Like they like because there's so much slang in the the Canadian language, especially, but fuck, the right. English language, you know, or what we call the bastardized version, because I assume they learn actual, like, King's English when they're, they learn, they're not learning American or Canadian, they're learning proper English, right. so they use the use and rumors and honor and stuff like that, um, they use all the use, so. Well, look, well, they it, both. Like, this is such a trip, I'm like, because they... Speak it and obviously read it and comprehend it so well. Like I can't do that shit. Well, it's like my roommate in college was from Saudi Arabia. I'm like, are you sure you didn't learn English at the same time as Arabic or maybe right after? He goes, well, in Saudi Arabia we start learning English in third grade. If you're yeah. in any kind hmm. of like school that, you know, if you have any, if you're very poor you might not. But if you're in even a middle class school yeah. in Saudi Arabia. If you have any chance of ever leaving English, your town, we'll make you sure you have English it as a secondary language. third grade, which is like eight or nine years old. So although Arabic was his first language, he spoke, he spoke English <laughs> like a native speaker. I don't know if that's referred to as interface or just English. We're learning some messed up mix. You probably are. Like, yeah. I could just, and yeah. Like, we're, can we're, I tell like, them too, like, Rock onto them because it's almost three in the morning there. They're six hours ahead, of, depending where they are in Austria, but just about six hours ahead. So no, it, they are, are. Yeah, they are six hours ahead. So they're coming up on three in the morning. Man, because you're a trooper. Remember the one and, that and, 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 and Martin has kids, like kid kids, not like the night rock dad. Like you're not cool. Shots and he had to get up in like three hours. Do you remember that? I do. I like do. he's he's just like a beast. Talking about him. <laughs> Papa Blue, I'm still learning Canadian, you know, hey. <laughs> it's 3 a.m., there you go, yeah, you're a beast, dude. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Well, and younger, younger. Oh, younger. he's home alone this week, okay. You know what, I was watching, a, uh, not watching, rather, but listening to a podcast this week, and it was about how different people from different ethnicities can handle or not handle their liquor better. And Eastern Europeans have, you know, it affects everyone's liver and hurts everyone's liver the same. But can you handle your liquor, not make a fool of yourself? It's more like arrested. who can hide it better. That's right, what it right. is. Yeah. But, also, but also keep it under control. And Eastern Europeans are known to be able to handle mass quantities of liquor, particularly the ones that they had gotten used to in their body over thousands of years, like corn liquors and whiskey. Not whiskeys, I'm sorry. And like vodkas like that, like right. potato liquors because their body was used to it. It'll still mess your liver up, but mentally they're able to, like, th they have things where they've given, like, two pints of liquor to this, uh, you know, Russian guy, and he was able to drive a car. Obviously, it was on a closed course, but not crash at all and be fine. And something, like, his body could break up the alcohol much quicker than the average person, you know? Like, kind of that whole theory about giving alcohol to minors early in certain to get them used European, to it. get them they, used to it. They do that all over Europe, yeah. Like oh, France. Yeah. England, they do it, yeah. I mean, it's France, really so England's 18, so. My parents conveniently left out the, failed to mention to me when we went to the Dominican Republic when I was, what, 15, 16, that there was no drinking age. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I was hanging out with a British family, and they're like, happy hour, you know, you want to grab a pint? And I'm like, 
well, I'd love to, but I don't think I can. He's like, why not? It's no drinking age here. I'm like, what? And I'm like, my and like, Lucy, you have some explaining to do. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not well, going to abuse it. Like, I wasn't going to get hammered or anything like that. I was just like, if I can have pints in the sun in the Caribbean, are you kidding? At age, yeah, I think I was right out of ninth grade. Ninth grade or tenth grade? Yeah, so it's awesome, Merton. Yeah, by 16, the way. 15. That's cool. Either way, it's awesome. No, it was not awesome. It was a topless speech. But it was. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> the only Older European speech, women. The only Older topless European. speech I've been to that actually was what you would think a topless speech should be like is when I lived down in Miami. But it's so hit or miss because a lot of times. Well, yeah, you got to hope um, for the gold diggers, not the. Grave robber. Yeah, yeah, yeah grave robber. <laughs> uh, not the opposite, whatever. You don't want the old cougars with money. Yeah, so I've seen that too, and it's not like flappy, like super tan, wrinkly ones. No. Yeah. Nice. Not like that one character from and something. And Amanda Mary, opens, Mary's... opens the stream and goes, ah! Well, she's a Mary's little bit. Uh, I, I had to pick up Kenzie and drop her off today because uh, Scott's homesick with the, uh, <coughs> the vid. I picked up a couple oh, rapid oh, tests. I'm sorry, Scott. That sucks, man. I don't wish. Yeah, I uh, dropped off some rapid tests, and then she she comes into the van. I'm like, stay away, like, because I don't know if you're infected, right? So she kind of <laughs> leans her head in the van. I'm like, no. And she's like, I have a dentist appointment on Thursday. And I'm like, yeah, we'll see about that. And sure enough, ten minutes later, she messaged me. She's like, he tested positive. I'm like, you better reschedule. And I figured as much. So. That's because nobody gets sick without. So I was like, nope, stay away. So, because I don't want dad to get it. So, yeah. Well, that's the thing. I didn't give a shit before for myself, not for anyone else. I'm always careful with other people because I don't know their health, but health. But for me now, it's like I still up here feel like, oh, fuck it, I'm going to be fine. If I get it, I'll be all right. But then I think about this and then I'm like, no, I can't afford to get it now. No, no, you can't. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm the yeah. person like, that Now, would, fortunately, with the way you're taking you know, care of yourself now, you know, a month from now, you would have a better chance. Six months from now, you'd have an even better chance, you know, because you right. are you're definitely stronger right. than you were last but, week. But, you know, only being, you know, a, just about six months out from my surgery and only, you know, yeah. about... I'm, I'm giving it another 18 months, Terry, then all of a sudden Tom will come on and he's going to be all ripped like Phil Cullen from Def Leppard playing... <laughs> I, I thought about my... <laughs> 13 with his bionic finger from F.U. Tone. He'll, he'll look fucking... like that one uh, character from Dragon Ball Z with the beard and he'll be like super ripped. <laughs> and the bald head. Wanna, and the someone beard. was talking about that guy the other day. I need to do that. I should... Yeah, um, <laughs> you don't grow the beard really long, and she keeps. You know what? You, 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 really in long. the prosthetic, you gotta get an ebo in your prosthetic. Well, that's the thing. I said if I ever lost a whole arm or a whole leg, I want like the machine gun and and also the place to put like some you know uh, strong, strong cannabis finger. materials and some maybe like a little bottle of liquor in there, or just hollow the whole leg out, fill it with liquid, whatever. But. Because it's only, the prosthetic will come down to the end of the finger there because it comes over for stability so you can move the whole sure. thing, right? So it's going to look like that whole finger is, you know, fake down to there. Um, I think you I need to put Evo in that sucker. If you're any lower than I was, you're down to one joint like that, you really can't get a prosthetic that does anything. It would be like this. It would only make that movement. You Well, you can just point at shit, basically. Because mine has that tiny bit of nub they were able to save past the joint. Yeah. So they actually took a bone saw and went, and sliced it off. Rather than taking, if you take it right at the joint, it's less painful, but you lose anything left. I said, fuck pain, just give me as much as I can. And they took it, you can see how it's an angle. They yeah. took it in the middle of the bone. And man, if I hit anything now, I can't even tell you about it hurts. Like if, if you came up to me and pushed in like that right now and just grabbed it and pulled or pushed in a little, I would drop to the ground. Yeah, like, you, like you'd be in the beautiful point. position just you trying know? not to but throw the up. nerves, the nerve endings are, yeah. as my really interesting surgeon described, because it's like... The nerd endings on something else you got that hangs off you. Like, yes, it is. You know, you don't have the same sensations that you do down there, but the sensitivity level is the same as that. 
So it's like, you know, when you hit your yeah. junk into the wall or when someone kicks you in the junk, it's the same thing. I had my son accidentally whopped into my fingers, spinning around. I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. how it is with my rebuilt right ankle on the outside. Oh, yeah. They had to, like, flip whatever to keep it the tendon in the groove. But oh. it was like, it was like, oh, oh my God. Like, my buddy uh, had that done. That's so painful. Yeah, it was worse. We have any guitar actually, questions? I, <laughs> so we yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm getting off topic. Sorry, man. <laughs> That's all right. Go down the rabbit hole. Deep down the rabbit hole. Hip Metalworks is here. Apparently, because Randy's saying hey to him. What did I go to deep down the rabbit hole of guitar or music stuff or anything related to what we were, what we were talking about this week? Did you go down the rabbit hole at all, Terry? I'm trying to think. I went down one rabbit hole, but I'll let you guys answer. Did I go down the rabbit hole this week? Something like, guitar of like something you might even never buy because you don't want it or it's too expensive, but you were just curious. Like, ooh, you know, I don't know, 4K cameras or like, blah, blah, blah. Or... Oh. Oh. Video card. <laughs> video card, okay. But For... I ended up, in the end, I ended up getting a new video card. Oh, may I ask what you got? Uh, I picked up uh, a good deal on a Asus ROG Strix Radeon 6600 XT, which is nice. a low mid-entry video card. But now everything in my system's all running on a PCI Express 4.0 bus. Yes, they do, l &M. Yes, they do. I love the Asus uh, ROG stuff. I have a Republic of Gamers motherboard. I just, I love their stuff. I've never had a problem. I've never, I bought Asus the last four builds I've done. And this build has been, you know, upgraded over time. But the actual build itself was started like six years ago. And I run it 24 seven and I've never had, I had one driver issue in eight years, a single driver for one device. And it was the device issue. Never yeah. had anything, never had a virus, never had anything. I'd go Randy anywhere. Randy Kirk on that says, My rabbit hole is LPD pedals. Having a tough time deciding on my next <laughs> one. Good uh, one. Good ooh. answer. You know what? Because he likes the retro thing, Lawrence does have a couple lucents left on the website. Get yourself nice. a blues breaker in a box. But he won't tell you it's a blues breaker in a box, but it's kind of a blues breaker. Here I, here, I got a picture of Tom. In the future, let right, me share it here. What's that guy's name? The old man, I forget. My son was talking about. I was looking at campers last week. They've gotten ridiculously expensive. Oh yes, they have. Like pushing two hundred thousand Canadian for a camper van. Yep. Yeah, I saw one for between like one twenty to one fifty US. Yeah. There we go. Yep. There he There's is. There's Tom. Yeah. <laughs> now, I, I don't want to be that big because that's obvious steroids, but have you ever seen the one where they show him like when he's not like Super Saiyan or whatever, when he's like the normal man size? Yep. He, he looks like Bruce Lee, more like he's thin but ripped. That's how I want to be, thin but ripped. But I'm not going back to weightlifting, though, because I hurt my joints too much with that. I'm going to do – I'm going to go back to the other <laughs> All the girly stuff, you know, um, calisthenics. Well, the calisthenics aren't girly, but you roaring know, machine like, would be good for you. Well, I have a uh, elliptical machine in the basement, so it's low impact on my joints, which is cool. yeah. Well, I like I said, what I've been doing randomly, and again, what I've been doing recently again is, as you can see down there under my thing, under, <laughs> under my thing. Oh, I still oh. think it's oh, nice pedals. Yeah, what it, what is it? Aquapus. Oh, an aquapus. Nice. That's the Just my chorus? hand weights. What? Is that the chorus? No, analog yeah. delay. Analog well, I delay. thought it, I thought the Aquapus was a chorus. No, 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 no. Analog okay. delay. This is speaking. This, I gotta uh, plug in this delay. This is the older this, one. This is the, the one that Brad this week. I, I'll be plugging this in finally. Find it with nice. the Nice. Wouldn't it be cool if you get Lawrence to mod that, and it would uh, if you could keep the aesthetics a hundred percent, or even just. Maybe change one little thing aesthetically, like a hard well, switch. Well, that, that'll be hard to say. It's but an LPD really modded dot. Better inside, yeah. 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 What do you have? LPD modded dot. Yeah. Yeah. One more time. LPD modded dot. 
I think L- you're speaking L- English. LPD Modod. M O D O D. He should make a LPD L-P-D. Modod series. It's M O D. It's a Modod. Modod? Yes, it's a Modod. It's not a stock dog. It's a Modod. It's M O D O D, but so he doesn't get sued. The first M O D is in one color, and the second O D is in a second color. So then he can say it's a mod of an overdrive, and D O D doesn't sue him. That's yeah, the yeah, 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 dude. L P D O D. Yep. I like that. The L P D O D. Yeah. The L P D mod O D. D O D by L P D. Yeah. L P D O D. What's the What's the D O D by L P D? Well, it's a dog by the god. <laughs> Lawrence Petras Dodd. Oh no, it's the LPDOD. What's OD? Uh, uh, Overdrive? Well, it's like when um, Seymour Duncan made the Seymour Duncan 78, and he actually sold them Seymour Duncan EVH for a while until they sold them. But if you look at the ma- magazine ad, I think it was Guitar Player. Yeah. Late 70s, early 80s, or whenever it was. But it was E period, V period, H period. And he, he in the ad, he wrote in the write-up, evenly voiced harmonics. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here with the evenly voiced harmonics. You know? Yeah. That was great. But I love this, man. Aquapus. Nice. And this is even you know, the Richie's all, one. He, he's a big fan of Way Huge. He's had one or two of their pedals on his board for years few years now i love the ones this is one of the ones now this isn't the original this is the jim dunlop the originals are worth more money and i i don't think they sound any better i don't hear any difference but they're it's the same circuit but this is the you know the production one but it's a george trips design circuit oh yeah i always thought it was i always thought it sounded great i still love this too but i think lawrence's is better but i just think these are good if you want Something that's a little bit different. It's the Andy Timmons, like Marshall in a box. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But this control, this is the four knob on this control. This air control is cool because you can get this thing where it does, it almost mimics like when you have like a a head cranked and it starts doing these weird things. I don't know if I should, I should look up what they actually say. It's supposed to simulate, but that's what it sounds like to me anyway. Like you're getting ghosty notes and harmonics and stuff like that you can kind of simulate that that would be a cool feature i like this one just sitting there you know playing quietly but when you turn it up me personally i think it doesn't hold up as much like when you actually get the volume Mm. lawrence's hold up at any volume but that's um, true but it's fun i mean it's fun to you know just play around with yeah, I got a lot of use of this one. You can see the paint jobs, like, just, just a little speckled. I'm getting, you know, you get it, they get kicked around. Yep. <laughs> kicked just means the they're table. loved. Kicked around the floor. Yeah, definitely. You can tell the ones you don't use that much, but. Although this is one of my oldest and still my favorite pedals. One of the original ones. I still think that's such a great pedal. Oh, oh yeah. Booster. RC booster number let's see serial number six eight six nine eight nine I think they started at five or six thousand I've John Duchesne says those are noisy uh, the RC booster or the other one the RC booster is not noisy um the Andy Timmons I think is a little noisy but I think it's kind of like when you put both channels of the 68 stack together it's a little noisy <laughs> but if you run one plexi into another full hundred watt plexi, yeah, yeah. it is noisy as well. You know, it's kind of like the um, who made the Echoplex pedal that people didn't like because it was had a really high noise floor. They said they were trying to make an accurate, super accurate um, Echoplex. And the MXR was, uh, one? They made it. Yeah, that's what I was right. just gonna say. Who? The only one I know is MXR. No, it was cattle and bread. They made a regular oh, one and a deluxe oh, yeah. version. And then when that guy died and he had an engineer that basically knew all the stuff, when he died, it was either the original okay, owner's Kevin. mother or wife sold the company and that's they fired that original engineer. Ooh. You know what I mean? He also like, uh, rather well loved, since you know we're talking 
pedals that we love. I love this pedal. Oh, that's cool. I like the sideways pedals too. Yeah. Well, yeah, that I didn't realize like they're now built like this. Well, like that, I guess. Um, they've changed the layout, but the first run they did this way. I didn't know that. And uh, Matt Fry, friend of the channel from Sleezer, yeah. when I post the photo, he's like, "Oh, that's a blah blah blah." I was like, "Oh, cool." I just picked it. I went. I drove damn near all the way to Tweed to trade a guy for it. I didn't care. I just wanted it. This is it. still my favorite amp in a box, Lawrence pedal. And although I had the 87 first, and it is a great pedal, it's only my personal preference that I is prefer that this one more. Because I'm more, yeah, because I'm more of a plexi guy. Right. And I never thought I would, like, want to buy another vintage, you know, well, I'm not going to spend the money that a plexi costs, but maybe, like, a JMP or a metal, you know, a, you know earlier metal panel. Because, man, running one plexi just falls out into another one is just even in, more insane. I get it. I get it. Because, you know, the way I, I I'm unlike goosing my 87 with the 55. Oh, nice. You know what, how you want to push a JCM? How? Hit it with a tweed. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And also, the 55 is great at pushing the, uh, the hell is he called now? The luster. Keep wanting to call it the hazy, but the luster. Take care, Randy. Which, either way, I don't think he, he makes it anymore either. See you, Randy. Have a good one, my friend. But yeah, I, I really <laughs> yeah, almost, got it one. perfectly covers it. <laughs> you can't see that. No, that almost works for the other finger beside it, too, eh? <laughs> Although this is a oh, really, sorry, really, I'm pointing at you. <laughs> this, this is a really, really good amp in a box too. Uh, this is my favorite graphic style. Like the see, one you know, the funny on thing here. about that is yours doesn't look anything like mine. I know. Yeah, I think yours looks like it's in the. Is yours the larger form factor or the smaller? Full size form factor, but mine's the uh, it's it's like a uh, dark. They look orange like they're box. almost about the same, other than dark Tom's is in a red box painted with case. The face plate and the yeah. face paint, and your thing's gold, right? Uh, mine's in a yeah, just plain metal. But the grenade is gold. Uh, yes, the grenade is gold. But yours is the same as mine. The only difference I think is that your box is plain metal, and mine's orange. Right. Yeah. That's what I, was I can't say. remember. I think they were done as plain, and yours was a one-off in the orange. Gotcha. I think. I don't. If Lawrence is lurking, he can uh, comment on that. And this is uh, for those who don't know the combustible lemons, which was an oh, early yeah. limited release by Sir Lawrence of the Petals. Um, says LPD, but it's actually Lawrence Petros design still at the time. And, while and we're this about was. That, man. Let's this is kind of based off of what Jimmy? It's a Jimmy Page. His kind of a super role, would you say, Tom? Yeah, it's like straight. It's it literally just sounds like Jimmy Page. And the tone works more like a bias because it's out of the circuit or something, or it's before the circuit. I don't know. He did something. He moved it. Yeah. Where the tone normally is in a pedal, it's not there. It, it looks like it physically. See, physically, it's in the same spot. But underneath, it's somewhere else. I, I don't know. I don't know what. Tom has a basic gun. I knew at one time that stuff, and now I don't. But um, I understand basics about circuits, but I don't understand like Lawrence does where you're actually like combining ingredients to make gonna open this one bone up. soup. Like, you actually, know. these are old enough that he used to number these, Tom. So oh, really? should, I, awesome. uh, should I open mine and look? Yeah, let's, yeah, I was just going to say that open, with that open. being a limited run, it could be numbered inside. I have a screwdriver right in the next room. I'll get one. Hold on. I'll be right back. This is why I keep a Phil Haps screwdriver on the workbench. Of it. Actually, Terry, it's in case it's a, there's an old pedal that needs the old 9-volt bat tray installed. So yeah, I used to have a Phillips right here, but my dad took It's for you to jumpstart and... your tube amps. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, I, I actually have a plethora of nine volts behind the computer here. Well, yeah, plethora three. Do any of them work? I don't know. I just know they've been removed from pedals, and if I need one, I'll try one of them. If it works, great. If it doesn't, then it gets recycled. I, I was going to say, I 
think that pedal, I think, I, I could be wrong in this, but I think um, Lawrence was going for that Robert, or sorry, that Royal Albert, uh, Albert Hall kind of pedal. Uh, I think, I think it was to cover the ground that is Marshall's didn't. Yeah. Oh, that dun, could dun, be dun. it too. Oh, it's copyright. Oh, Jesus. Can I read that? Oh. oh I, can I read the large writing at least? 2018 copyright. Yeah. Mammoth. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Scott Brockway or Mammoth Good? I bet they are. I see a trim pod of some kind in there. Oh, wow. You got to check out the circuit board, Terry. There's all kinds oh, of wow. stuff going on on it. Check out the grenades in there and logos and then. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, I noticed the mammoth branded pods. I assume that's good. Hmm. As far as a number, no, but we have a date, so we can compare dates because it's not just the usual. He puts the month and year, usually. Yeah. And this one actually has a date. And it doesn't have like. And the copyright in the date, ben? not even close, which, as a member, I think, yeah, Aaron was mentioning it last night, I think, on air, or maybe it was after the, we got off air. How Lawrence, you know, he's always thinking well out in the future. Two different years, circuit board to build. Yeah. So I get it. I get well, it. Well, also with the the stuff. And I'm going to remind on. Tom he's muted in case he goes to start talking because he was doing that on the Zoom call sometimes. He does that. But <laughs> we will. all. Yeah. No. We're like Tom, you're muted. He's like, oh, sorry. Uh, I see uh, at least four capacitors, transistor, a bunch of resistors, a transistor. I think that's also a transistor, except one's metal and one's not. But it's got three leads, and I, that leads me to believe it's probably a transistor. Yeah. The heck, Tom's got a pedal that looks like a little... It's only been thing. 30 years since I looked at this kind of stuff with any idea. A pedal that what, Terry? I said it looks like a little Debbie zebra cake. What? J and S 1.0 combustible. That lemon. one you were holding there. This? Yeah, yeah. When you had it on an angle. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's wild. Okay. Just painted on all sides, which is yeah. So I'm amazing. curious to see you what yours. Uh, you would think. I assume you would have the same close. circuit board, Tom, because these would have been all made one. Hey, Ryan Hall, you know we're we're, I mean? le we're taking apart old LPD pedals. Apparently, that's what hey, course, we are on the show. Now, did Tom have the clear knobs as well? Uh, no. no, no to the clear I have knob. Clear knobs on my fuzz face. Ooh. Oh. But no. I like that uh, font on that. Yeah, I bought that for like 50 bucks off of Reverb. Oh, jeez. Oh, I always look for stuff like that. Though. So we'll hold up our... We can hold up our plates at the same time for, yeah, to show off the date. Uh, uh, where did I put mine? Hold on one second. <laughs> He's got so many pedals he lost it. The I did, down. literally. Here, wait. <laughs> oh, I, and I was going to bring up as earlier to the, the Terry, the NASCAR set with the amount of crap that's up back there. You know, you think, of, you know, like people are like, oh, Ben, you've got 100 pedals. You know, I have like 150 die cast NASCAR cars. <laughs> Can you see that right there? See? It's just I, a whole yeah. pile of pedals. So that's why I love it. Somebody like short shorts. No, they're hiking up, <laughs> getting a little moose knuckle. <laughs> Moose Knuckles and even my all Canadian covers band. Oh, that would be cool. All right. Hey, well, well, Tom's feeling better, so he's you know he's got to look for some like female companionship now. So he's got to get those ladies interested. Through Ben shows a vehicle though. Um, where I must have taken it in the other room when I went to go get the screwdriver. I don't know where it, it is. Yeah, I did. I took it in the other room. Oh no, he must have. Which one was I going to open? Was the combustible uh, lemons? Okay. 
I'm just gonna say. Yeah, we'll both hold up the inside of the face plates at the same time. There, there we go. And a new show for yeah, Fruitcake yeah. Tony. Tom shows his what? legs. <laughs> a what? Oh. Right. Just, like, like Tony has the pick cam. Tom has leg cam. It's just yeah. a, like it's just focused on your calf. <laughs> so so today I used some cocoa butter on my egg on yeah. my leg. No, that's really ashy today. That's really <laughs> He's not messing around. It's like Tom's doing the pit stop over there. Yeah, I can yeah. swap out a battery and a pedal in under fourteen seconds. <laughs> snap snap. Four on, four off. Four on, four off. He's just in there practicing. Oh, they get far your enough. Off. Damn it. That's when you waste time when you don't get a far enough. No. <laughs> there we go. Uh, hey, Paul. He says, I have all the LPD MIAV pedals, but the best one, he only made 10, the DCMD, don't call me dirty. Uh, Tom, do you have your newest uh, LPD pedal handy to show off to Paul? Oh, yeah. uh, I don't know if you have this one, Paul. Let us know. The germanium. You got that one? It's so it's shiny good. that it almost like, when the light hits it, it almost looks like an oil effect off the top. I don't know if anyone can hear that in the background, but I hear a lawnmower. <laughs> I do too. It sounds like someone's vacuuming. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm just like, what the heck? And I don't know if it's my neighbor or the lawnmower I got earlier and the uh, son came back over and fixed it. Which was interesting. I decided it was idling too low. I set the idle a bit higher on the throttle. Give it two know, good pulls. Before we show then... these off, before we show I these like off, can we put it in the chat. Who has the earlier dated pedal, Tom or me? Because based off certain lifestyle choices, I can say this is a, I got it about three years ago, and I don't know if I got it before or after Tom did. So you can type one in the chat for me, or two in the chat for Tom, or you can put our names, because it's not that long. To it's going to be, uh, it's going to be close. Now, does yours have a number, like hashtag and then a number? Mine has the month, the day, the year. Okay. And then... You know, signature, dedication, and what it is. So mine has his name. It says Lawrence Petros. Then it says Combustible Lemons. It has the number, like which number pedal it was, and the date. So I'm thinking yours is older. That yours might, means mine's yours, probably a prototype. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking yours is older than mine. Might be close. All right. Should we does yours have the, we so does yours have the date we, as well? Should we go by year, then month? Ben Day and see how close we are? Sure. All right. So I'm in 2019. <laughs> All right. Let, in, let, let's show them off. August? Let's show them off. Ready? Let's show them off. Tom's is newer. 82919. Oh, mine's only. 219. Wow. Mine's and Tom's three. is number five. Now I remember. Now I remember wow. why mine's older than yours because I remember he was doing that and he had you put in early order them. right yeah. and so he, he said I'll send it to you early that's what it was so yours was supposed to get to you sooner than mine but he just sent it out because I put it in early hey fruitcake uh, or or you know the old I might have the parts for one of those laying around and that's what mine might be like my vermin. My vermin right. was made in between runs. Yeah, that's why it has the gold knobs. Like same as Laz's. Laz has a one-off vermin. I wish, I wish everyone that hand makes their stuff would do this because when you go to the effort to go to that much work and then don't sign it. Now see, what? Keith says, "Wow, number five. Keep in mind there was probably a run of only. I see. I was going to say twenty-five, but these might have only been runs of ten to fifteen. Here's I think it was though. only ten. Can you guys see this? If you look really close, it tells you what it is. It tells you the year. 
that the circuit board was done, and then it has LPD on both circuit boards, and it has the little grenades, combustible lines. Now that, yeah, wait, that's a tough that, that Wait a, a second, tough. is that a different color? Hang on, I gotta, hang on, I gotta pull the screws out again, because yours is I copyrighted 2019 there, Tom? 20, no, 2018. 2018. 2018, okay. Yeah, the printing is the same, however, That's what I mean. Like, are those branded pots under the plastic, Tom? Uh, yeah, they're alphas. Yeah. Okay. I, I have different. I have different pots and a different circuit board. Just check yeah, that out. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I thought so. Oh wow! What's your? What does it say? The date? Oh, it says twenty eighteen as well. Huh? Now, does yours have the signature as well on there? The same LPD signature? I can't see. Let me see. Uh, yes. I think. Okay. Yep. J and S ten combustible. Yeah. Everything else looks the same. Yeah. That. I was gonna say one right. could have been his prototype run, and then one could have been like the rest that he made for the production. What are the? Um, I'm curious on yours <laughs> because this this might be the big difference, and it might have been stability issues. What? I never did get one of those, Martin. Uh, <laughs> whoa, that, that's why this sounds so good, and that's why I love this. Do you know what the one resistor is? What? It's a BC108 resistor. It's the same that they use in, like, a really good silicon fuzz face. Hey, Mercy. Huh. That's one of them. Now, where am I looking for that? <laughs> right here, see it? Oh, I'm not gonna be able to get in close enough. See it right there? Okay. Are you looking at the capacitor or the resistor? No, the capac uh, the resistor. Right there. See it says TC. It says 108 TC. Right above that 108 it says BC, you'll see it. It's right next to the capacitor. It's oh, the transistor. See if mine says that. See, it says BC108 right below it on the circuit board. Oh, wow. Gotcha. That's an original BC108, too, it looks like. So there's something like a silicon fuzz vibe going on in this thing. So maybe the rest of the circuit is... That the explains the bias type thing when you use the tone. Yeah. And I think yeah, so tune in next week to Canucks with Solder, then we'll watch Terry and Ben dice the dumbbell. I think the rest <laughs> of the circuit is is the um is the little amp Jimmy Page used, but maybe maybe that's part of the amp, or maybe did Jimmy Page use any kind of silicon fuzz in front of the amp, or is that just in the amp circuit itself? I'll have to look up that amp that he used, I don't know. But either way, that's a BC one. Well Page always used a tone bender, so so this is mimicking, I think, a tone bender in front of that little super amp because if you see it, it's basically a tone bender circuit. If you if you trace this through, and the rest of it, I don't, I have no idea, but it looks like it could be that amp. It looks like it's a, it's a circuit version of a tone bender in front of that super amp is what it looks like to me. Which, if that's what it is, and if I'm right, which I'm probably totally wrong, because I'm a fucking idiot. Then that's genius. That's Lawrence's genius. Like no, that that's... that would go in line for early Zeppelin days. Well, then that's probably what if it is. It was. But, but he actually used a BC one hundred and eight here. Like yeah. I mean, you can see it right there, Terry. An yeah. actual BC one hundred and eight. But yeah, that's what I mean. Like if he's, he's trying to do it one. to emulate that early days. Oh, like okay. So you're talking the silver to the yep. left of the two capacitors. The silver one that's right, I don't want to touch the board. Yeah. Those are all grotty. But okay, yeah, I got one of them, right too. There. I can't so right read below, anything on it. Right, right below it on the circuit board, it says BC108. So that was not just what he had. That was he specifically sourced those for this. Like, gotcha. I love oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I see that, yeah. I, love yeah, the only I need a hell of a lot more light in here for that. Where's my lighter? Oh, I'll I do, do too. Yeah. James style. So and I'm the only learning. major difference between the two of them is Ben's actually has a uh, adjustable pot parameter. Oh, mine has an adjustable pot too. No, no, it there is. We have the same trim pot in it. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, I should take these screws out. I should wait till we're finished, then I can close it. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. We have different pots, though. Mine are branded Mammoth A100K. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of weird, too. But oh, again, sure. we're talking know. about... I, I figure... Mine are K audio tape pods. Mine are alpha, you know, audio pods. But again, right. we're also talking the beginning of the pandemic. So... No, this is a... No, this would have been part sourced out well oh, before no, the pandemic. No, no, yeah, you're right. I'm confusing the years. I mean, yeah. it's been long as it is, but... I get some people... <laughs> No, Ryan Hall, it isn't think, think. a my pedal can beat your pedal battle. <laughs> I'm still voting for soldering in the driveway in front of Pop's car. Traffic, sunburn, and all. Hashtag seal oh, solder yeah. challenge. <laughs> no deal. Well, I got to do the brakes on the van. You want to you want to watch that? <laughs> so, see the trim pot, Terry? Mm. Yeah, I probably yeah. missed it. Interesting that it's different. Yeah, different. Yours is different than mine slightly. Yeah, and that's what I was saying. That's why I'm thinking. I think mine was an after. Yeah, and kind of like what I was saying. One could have been a, pr a pre-production or a post-production. Or, yeah, like as you would build them all before shipping them out type thing. Yeah. Um, before the announcement or whatever. And I think, okay. yeah, I remember that because... It had been leaked. Tom had pre-ordered, basically. And plus, yep. mine would take longer to get here. No, that's still a month. Dated. The date's there. But I can't remember. It all depends on if I bought it or it was sent out as, you know, purely to and, demo. And for and people feedback, that beta test. That Lawrence doesn't have room to have a 9-volt or put 9 volts in his, if you knew what he fit in here to not have the 9-volt in there, you wouldn't bitch about it. Well, you could like use the if you look house. in the front, the jack he's using here for a pedal yes. that's you know maybe a couple hundred bucks is the type of jack normally they would use if you bought like one of those gig rig G2 or one of those R Jam switchers. They're expensive jacks he's using on it that are like super high. However, uh, you can for the nine volt if you use the larger form factor. There you go. Right, like, but well, it, look how thick that is. Right, first of all, that rate, if you look up at an it. angle, like underneath those circuit boards, he's fitting the circuit board, he, hanging it. Look, the daughter board right above where the jacks are, and then mm -hmm. look up in the part closer to the pots. You can see, or you can't see from that angle, but he fits this pot in between, so he's fitting the tone control, the level and the drive in such a small space there. I think it's brilliant, though, the way he does it. It's very efficient use of space. But he leaves enough breathing room up here where dust and hot air will eventually get in around where the capacitors are so that if someone doesn't open it, you know, to tr change the trim pot because they're not going to be opening it to change a 9-volt battery regularly, you know, if they don't have a chance to get all the dust out, it's probably still going to work. It's not going to kill oh, yeah. you, and it probably gets... You know, coated in a layer of dust because he left that whole cavern up there to, you know, for the heat to dissipate. You know. Uh, it's designed very well, Lawrence. I'm impressed. See, and Martin says, hey, Ben, yours is certainly no post-production. No, I think it was a post-production thing because he never did do a second run of them. That was the other no. thing. Like, because it might have been a prototype for the second run. He only did the one run of them. Why builder do this? That's how you put a 9-volt or 18-volt, whatever you do. That's how you put a, a barrel jack on the end. You use one of those. Let me show you. Even if it costs you an extra 50 cents or a dollar, you use one of those. Because when you put one of the ones on the end that is made of shitty plastic, the second you go to pull that out when you're hurrying, because you're in a hurry, you buddy's house, or you're at a gig, or whatever, yeah, it snaps that way, and then you're screwed. And then you got to buy another one anyway. So, builders take note. Lawrence does it correctly. Okay. And, uh, and full size capacitors. Wait too. a minute. Now, Martin's thing seems like there was a second run of the combustible lemons. So, he's going to have to take his apart now. Well, and that's kind of what I was going to say because it sold well. And I think. I think Lawrence was all. contemplating doing well, this. And I don't remember anything. And Lawrence is busy building pedals, so he can't be here right. to defend himself. Now, this one, interesting enough, inside ha is a different than any of the other Vermins ever made because he ran out of capacitors. So there's one, there's four capacitors in there. And one of the four capacitors, he had to 
like it's above and beyond the quality. So it's got a total, it, what do you call it? Audiophile level capacitor, one of them. Oh, gotcha, yeah. And I was like, please tell me you put it. He goes, oh, yeah, well, if you got to put one in. You put it in the right spot, you know, type thing. I was like, fuck. Okay. And I I've seen this before. Like, oh. like, they're like 25 or 30 bucks each, like, yep. wholesale, even if you buy a bunch. Like, insane yep. prices. Why not? Mazel. Right, Terry? Mazel. Open her up. <laughs> Mazel. Here we are, opening pedals. See, that's the funny, like, Tom's numbered. Most of my Lawrence puddles are not numbered. Yeah. Because they're, they're the pre-release. Like, the same oh, way, no. like, we're going to do a run of 25. Yes, but he also sends, like, one to me and one to RJ. Mm -hmm. A couple other people. Yeah, he might he might actually do in total like thirty or thirty five. Yeah, exactly. Pedals, but I yeah, five or twenty five actually for twenty five for the was... run, five for promotion. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know this was the LPD show, but I actually have the Phoenix. Well, they Fuzz. do sponsor the show, so Lawrence is getting his money's worth. <laughs> I I, uh, I actually have the Phoenix Fuzz that was originally RJ's, so we can find out what his said. Yeah, you can. Oh yeah. I bet you it's not numbered. We'll see. Or it says guessing. Seuss Mariosa in the inside. Okay, so <laughs> interesting. Oh, right. This one's got all the capacitors. Right. That's what it was. All right. So, first of all, there, so there's the inside 12, 15, 19 gold. Yeah, VRMN. And then, Tom. Give me a positive review or else. No, I'm just kidding. One of these capacitors <laughs> doesn't look like the others. Oh, my God. Oh, you may wow. Notice yeah. This one is a lot bigger than the others. Yeah. All right. You ready? So uh, so this is a, a same company, but it's a LPD 2019 Phoenix Fuzz circuit board. A lot of the same setup for some of the stuff that's the same. Um, like the layout. I mean, just look how clean and nice that is laid out. Yeah. I'm not going to show it directly on there because I don't want someone to screen grab it and start copying Lawrence's circuits. But here, I'll just put my hand over top in case there's weirdos that want to do that screen grab stuff. But it's yeah, I don't have so to worry about it. I don't have the bandwidth. So it's just <laughs> so nicely done. So anyway, it says on the back, 8-9-2019 oh, so Lawrence Petros Phoenix. I see what you say about these switches, though, Tom. Even in the thicker shell, like there's oh, not yeah. enough room for a nine volt in there. You'd have to put a different, like you see, You'd have there's not that much room, Gary, nice for how deep it is. Yeah. yeah. And I like the fact the paint doesn't go all the way to the bottom inside. I know, me too. There are those I forget. There are those switches that have the blue base, the big ones. I forget what they're called, but they're really nice quality wise. So it says. Phoenix 4RJ, but let's listen what number it's labeled. Number 1B. 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 Wow. So he must have had 1A, B, C, D, E, F, and for all the ones he sent out to whoever. Kind of thing, you know? You can see where he had the card, so he could then write over in the middle there. Yeah. Like he put a, he put a card down when he was paying. <laughs> Mercy, that's awesome. <laughs> Or, Tom, is it sitting on a pedestal when he paints it? That's true. It could be that. Now, does does he actually hand paint the enclosures as well, too? No, that's, it's We're spray painted. But... Or yeah. are they powder coated? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, well, does he buy them free, color coated? -coated it it, or... If it's powder coated, it wouldn't have the edge like this on the inside. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. And also, this one, the inside of it would be. Unless you did, I don't know. See, I don't know because I've never done the powder coating myself. I've been right in front of one and seen someone else do it. And we've all watched videos of people doing it, but I've never actually done it myself. So I don't know what the deal is. As someone who worked in a factory that did powder coating of car parts. Yeah. <laughs> is it horrible? Well, the heat alone. You can do it terrible. at home if you want to, you know, you're yeah. Waiting. It's that you for ruining the oven. But yeah. it leave some toxins in there. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's the worst part about it. I remember the, Hot Rodders doing that in the starting in the 
early 90s, guys started taking just, you know, once you can get home powder coating kits, say like home sandblasting kits, you sandblast them powder coat old parts and you just use an old oven. Yeah. And you, you know, it's always only certain parts. And you're like, why don't you do these? Because it won't fit in a regular oven. That's why. Right. <laughs> why don't you do a drive shaft? Too long. It won't fit in a standard oven. You know, but you could do things like exhausts or whatever with the high heat enamels. And... All right, that's back together. How are we doing? Whoa, we're an hour and 40 in. Isn't that just wonderful? Well, there you go. LPD pedals. By the way, fun fact, that image was originally designed by Ryan Burke, the rat. Go. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I remember that now. Yeah, I threw him off when <laughs> I did the thing I post on Instagram. Oh, here we go. This was the news we're waiting for. Sent in all the way from Austria. Yeah, I know. There we go. Oh! Different. Okay. Tom, yeah. since you're a regular panelist on Fruitcake Tony's channel, right? you're aware how Keith Campbell here in the chat and you probably notice even during the NASCAR stuff, he knows all the answers, right? Right. Like he's very knowledgeable. You say, hey, what answer? And he's like, mine was probably like a prototype of the second run. Probably because we have, first we'll look at, I'm going to say this circuit board is closer to mine than yours. Yep. Yep. I would Color and everything. Even with the lighting. However... Yeah. There we go. Be nice. However, are you going to turn? No, you're not, are you? Why won't you? Because you're a dick. Fine. <laughs> Focus. Oh, can't see it. Here it oh. comes. 11, 8, 11, 8. And then it's labeled 11, 4. I don't know what that means. Hmm. Unless it's Roman numeral for second run and it's the fourth of the second run. Yeah. I, that's quite possible. Two, four. Yeah, that would make more sense. Interesting. First of all, and then there we go. Um, who knew that apparently there's three of us just in this little community tonight of 40 people. Apparently, that's almost 10% of us own a coat and bustable lemons. I'm, I'm curious. Uh... So it was probably two, ten, two runs of 10, two runs of right. 15. Now I'm curious what this. Yeah, one or he could have did a run of ten, had boards left over for for repair. Well, I think no, uh, he. Uh, I don't think he ever has a repair, but uh, usually you print up. Even when he's doing runs of ten, he was printing up twenty to thirty boards at a time, just for yeah. cost factor. Oh, Lucas has one too. Oh, nice. Well, since he's asleep and he would be here, that would be 4 of 41 had he be watching. <laughs> That'd be nuts. Tom's just doing some dentistry. <laughs> Don't mind. I did I did go into the family business. You just didn't know it. I'd do it out of my garage. Yeah, <laughs> with the cost of dentistry in the U.S. and Canada... You'd make a killing at discount dentistry. What's the difference between an Embers and an Embers Limited? I should, I should have done it, Terry. Yeah. I can't handle the, like, gross medical shit. Uh, all right, one more tonight. No, actually, i, I got to have a bowl before I do this. All right, hang on. So, John, does your Embers have top mounts like that? Is it a full-size enclosure? Uh, you'll know yours is a limited. This, fun fact, folks: the LPD logo that's not focusing will say "limited" under it if it's a limited. Mm. Mine is. Let's see. Okay, yours is the same. All right, so it's probably the same. I don't think it's gone into regular production. Mine says "limited" to. Yeah, Should we no, take I a think, look? I think that's something that. Lawrence has thought about doing, I think, a while back. Of you know how many products. limited edition pedals I had, Terry, before I noticed the limited under the logo? Like, <laughs> I, I never noticed, like this one. Yeah. Yeah. Limited. I probably didn't even notice when it was on that one. Oh, Vermin's limited, too. 
Well, wouldn't it not be limited now? Very. Uh, no. Uh, no, I think that's... Well, it's very limited now because it's no longer called the Vermin. Well, that's what I mean. And it's morphed. It's basically now the 109. It's not Blackjack Guitar. Exactly. Oh, that is? Yeah, the 109 is... Yep. That's why I have new face plates. Oh. That's um, why I was saying what I said. Yeah. Where did they... I just saw them the other day. Jeez, it's it's limited under the original name. Yeah. What, oh, yeah, but I'm like, I literally had those face plates the other day. Where the hell did they go? How? How? Hey, Jack the Tar. How? Here you go. How? Here you go, man. How? Ooh, number one. Five twenty-five twenty. Number, number one. one hayseed. Now I can't open mine up. Uh, no, I know I have prior to number one because mine doesn't even have that on it because. That's know, what you that's what the hayseed became. You yeah, good. Well, play. yeah, mine is there. They are when I looked the other way. <laughs> I knew they were around here. I knew I put them somewhere handy. So I know which ones are my early uh, Lawrence pedals because they have just plain boxes, and then they have face plate like you know either after the fact or my not, not, not the same saying pedal. he has number two. L and M has number two. That's all. So, so, uh, so those those are the same, just different faceplate. Yeah. yeah. But funny enough, the original faceplate's smaller. I think that this will. Fit we'll see the one oh nine then for me. Maybe I'll have to get one. The one oh nine for me would be a different pedal because my older one with the other name has only three now. Yeah, it's a full size. Yeah. So these are supposed. Yeah, remember Tom? Remember when I got this last year for my birthday? Yeah. Oh, you have no, uh, there's no, uh... That's the 109. Hold on. That's what became the 109. I just had it eight for a year. And it looks really like an about. offset enclosure. Pretty much. Except they're not... The... Actually, those ones, those are a powder coat, aren't they? Those colored ones that he does? Like the offset in the title? Yeah. All right. Let's quickly so have a we'll close. All right, what was the other one we get at? And we'll open up an embers. I don't think I don't oh, think mine will be early. I think I just went and bought mine. Whenever you know, I don't. Yeah. Although I don't remember. Again. Yeah, you do, John. <laughs> Keith Campbell says it's like a '70s breakdance challenge, but with pedals. <laughs> I don't know. Is, is everyone in the chat bored? I find this interesting, but maybe everyone's bored. Is Type that one if you're bored. Two if you're interested. Two if you want I, to keep going. Honestly, I don't think he's have done or Ben has done a show like this in a while as it is. So That's true. So it's probably a nice little change from the normal. So is it one if you're bored and two if you're not bored? Super not I think bored. I just got a, I think I two, got a two, 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 two. Yeah, so I, think I got a regular production because I have number twelve. Wow. Tom missed the early boat. <laughs> he got a number twelve. One point five. <laughs> That's neutral, I guess. <laughs> One point five. <coughs> Better than a thirteen. <laughs> yeah, true. All right, so, uh, because Tom had to show off Hayseed number one, and Martin had to mention Hayseed number two. So this is what they're talking about, because that's how mine came in the mail. It's Hayseed number zero. Uh, with a gold back, because that's awesome. which looks yeah. like off of a 74. I think David, that was... I love the, the screw. Isn't that the old color of the 74, Tom? 
Ben, first I had a screw loose here. <laughs> and now oh, I have a screw oh. missing. You, you know, you called the number wrong, Tom. What was it? Proto 2. Proto 2. Ooh. So one F and believe was Proto 1? I don't know. Or who's the guy in Europe that has every doubles of everything or triples or Oh, <laughs> interesting. The name okay. on it is different than either name. This says on box of hayseed, comma, dirty. Huh. Huh. Okay. Now, <laughs> Keith Campbell's like, holy crap. Well, no offense, Keith. You're a little newer to the channel compared to, say, Tom, who's been around for years, and Terry has been around for years. Like, <laughs> there, there is a time where we we're getting a lot of... There was a lot of crap floating around in 2019, wasn't there, Tom? It was, that was well, kind of the year of LPD for us. Yeah. But that's when we got into the deep end. Hey, John. Hey, John. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we between everyone here. else having LPD pedals, I'm almost to the point where I should just not even bother because everyone else has them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are we looking at? The embers? See, I don't mind showing off that circuit board, Terry. Oh, jeez. There's not much to it. Can't see yeah, what it is. Yeah. It's all mounted on the other side. See, now that yeah. looks like it could have a 9 volt in it. That could. Uh, well. Oh, it's yeah, got, yeah, it's got pedals, the new style sound clicker. You know how many production pedals have both of you guys got that they did barely leave room for a 9 volt and put one of those little plastic shields over it like MXR would do? And then the batteries oh, yeah. are to uh, deteriorate, and then the circuit board shot because the battery acid. Like I, I believe, Tom said number twelve. Okay, that was mine. Yep. Was number nine. nine. Mine, was, <laughs> nice. uh, mine was I think five twenty or five twenty one, twenty one. But uh, again, um, I think I had this one early too. Remember, Tom? I couldn't talk about it. Yep, you did. And I went, oh, um, 106. Holy crap. Really? 106. That's what John's is. Wow. 106? Hey, Tom, remember the days when Lawrence would do a run of 10, and that was a limited run and not 106? Yeah. Good times. On the other hand, kudos to Lawrence, our friendly neighborhood pedal builder. Can you imagine? I, I can't imagine doing 106 pedals in my life. That's awesome. That is awesome. That's Congrats all the pedals. Lawrence. That's a, that's a that's all the limited run. Holy crap! Okay, yeah, yeah, I mean that, that is. That's... Well, that's you know what? Again, you know what I'm thinking though, Tom. Yeah. He probably did a run of a hundred, and as I recall, he's done a few of those. I have a few around. Uh, well, wasn't that your idea, Martin? The the sixty eight stacked. I think that was actually Martin's concept. Nice. My first LPD telethon. Lawrence is going to need uh, your compensation. He takes <laughs> care of me, Doug. Believe me, he takes care of me. He does not ben, take care of Tom. No, ben, he does this take pedal, care of me. This pedal is like the best components, but who the hell does this? They wired some components on the top and some on the bottom. Oh, I hate that. Well, that's, that's weird. Vintage. That's weird. That's though. like a TC Electronics enclosure. I know. That's right, Martin. I'm trying to see now. what capacitors it has, or uh, what uh, um, transistors it has in it, but I can't get to them. Is there anything else you want to see under the hood of, Tom? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I'm good. Okay. I thought you were going to request to see under the hood of the Dutchman. <laughs> nah, I think I'm all right. This has Texas Instrument 5086. And Texas Instruments 6621A. And then there's a giant E in front of the Texas Instruments. Huh. They, look, they look old as fuck, though. And it's old old resistors, new capacitors, but um, old resistors, old... 
Well, yeah, because I I'm done the with Rainbow Texas Machine. Instruments. Well, that, yeah, the Rainbow Machine what wouldn't necessarily that? be. Uh, oh, team. that's the point of that's the that's point of three, three capacitor. But it's yeah. an OG capacitor too. Look how big that. Thing is. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I it's actually, kind of well, interestingly it's enough, the really delay well. that's on my board, Terry. That might be one that's interesting to see what's like because that one is just labeled delay. Right. <laughs> it's what became? Alpha. What was it? It's what became the White Rabbit delay, but the White Rabbit delay was still, I think, a longer time. He, yeah. Like he made it a bit more before, you know. So it's it's a pre-production of the White Rabbit, which was a, a limited run. Is White See you, Rabbit? Mercy. Uh, <laughs> Mercy. Is that the other delay with more time? <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey voice. So as the little rabbit went in the hall. <laughs> All right, that needs to go back on my board. <laughs> I, I should go back on my board. I should put a compressor back on my board at some point. I don't know where. I and, should, uh, uh, okay. Octopus Ears, I didn't realize that actually she had passed, so I'm sorry. Uh, no. That's right. So this would be the White Rabbit, not the rival, Martin. I think that's what the two were between that. I don't know. The Let's rival is like half the, what do you call it, right? <laughs> so remember, Tom, when I tried to do a demo of a Lawrence pedal when I lived at the old house and it had some Spanish on it, and I can't. Right. I can't. I just yeah. can't. So finally, Lawrence brought out a pedal I could pronounce. <laughs> Delay. That's that's it. Delay. So you go, Martin. Delay. You got a level, a delay, and it repeats. Delay. So, this is a part of the limited series. So the White Rabbit then became the rival. Holy crap. That would have been funny. The delight oh, delay. The impact gun. It has the whistle. <laughs> oh, like delight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, the delay time got extended in this to become the rival. So. Ah, that's the way this worked. But let's see if I know what this says. Oh, man. I don't really remember how this came about. I know one thing. There's a whole shelf packed like too deep with LPD boxes. And it's kind of ridiculous. Ridiculous. Because I don't know why I bother keeping the boxes. Because, well, people say, well, keep the box, you know, if you're going to sell it. Sorry, what? Yeah. I'm not. You know, so I don't need to keep the boxes. Yeah, I got to say, like, that kind of irks me a bit where it's like, you know, well, do you got the original box for the pedal? No. You have the box Why? for the guitar that you you got? <laughs> yeah, like, you know, okay, you know. Anyway. You know well, and then there's... It's, it's, it's not really anything. It's just a white cardboard box with label on it, you know. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, it sounds so funny, like, that they'll make it that it's almost All like right. a deal breaker or deal maker. Oh, uh, you don't have the box? Um, do you have the case candy? It's a 63 <laughs> Strat. No, I don't have the hang tag right. either. So, <laughs> the conversation between Martin and I said, blah, blah, blah. Then he said, exactly. And so, see, yeah, White Rabbit. 1421, yep. And yeah. white rabbit. Yeah. But I'm guessing the white rabbit face plates weren't in yet. And again, no production number, Terry. Yeah. I don't get that stuff. And it used to say to Ben there, but then now he's building a hundred pedals at a time. So then yeah. you know. Okay, Mark. Hey Ben, look. Nothing on this one. Oh, nada. 
That's that's the one I just got the LP. That's the Dorian build. That's the that's the one that you know was uh, built illegally. <laughs> it was built illegally. It's a germanium build. It was built after hours in the LPD. It's like a Chibson. Um, it's built <laughs> after hours in the Epi factory. It's a built. That's an OPD pedal or looking pedal that was built oh, after yeah. hours by so OPD employees. It's built it's illegally. So, so Lawrence crossed the border into Mexico, built it in Mexico, came across the border back again, and then sold it to you. It's amazing how <laughs> these are pedals that he built while on vacation man, in Mexico. <laughs> like, the downtime, he's like, it's raining outside. Might as well build a few pedals. I mean, this thing is like literally an effing work of art. To fit it in one of these mini enclosures. Oh, yeah. Look, look how big the capacitors are, or the uh, transistors are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Tom, have you ever seen the 87 or 68 in one of those there you enclosures? Go. Mullard, Mullard germanium uh, transistors. Oh, wow. Does it get any better than that? Nope. It's got the uh, the thing everyone looks for, the Mullard red dots. They're the OC. I think it's the OC72, yeah. Wow. So he put the good stuff in it. Nice. There we go. All right, that may not go back on the board. I may put it, throw my digi digital delay back on there. You know. <laughs> You're digital. <laughs> yeah, throw the digitals on there instead of the analogs, you know. OPD pedal, how many different pedals ha has they made? Well, it's only one guy. It's Lawrence. Um, Literally one guy. I don't know. 40 different pedals over the years? 50 maybe? I don't know, because he did a lot of pedals that there was only 10, 20 of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I was going to say that. Like, I don't know of him doing too many one-shots either. I think there might be a few. I know of a handful of one-offs, one but you'd have to talk to Unbelievable about that. I didn't say that. <laughs> but, like, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, there, yeah, yeah. I so, think uh, what you're saying is about right. So my first, mean, my first foray right there, the LPD Saguaro. So this well, is kind of like the uh, the Swiss Army knife of tone. There weren't that many. Yeah, of that. this is a like a dirty boost, kind of a clone, but dirty boost. Uh, great, I fell in love with it right off the bat. Uh, then you have another one, a classic. Well, he called it the modern classic. Think of Voodoo Lab Sparkle Drive. That's the closest comparison, except this is better because it's different. Mm -hmm. uh, runs at nine or eighteen. I like it better at eighteen. But you I got you can run your parallel clean and dirty. Hell yeah! And then you have something like the Choya Boost, which is a clean boost. Class A amp in a box. And this is the inspiration one. for my signature pedal that Tom has. That's how it started life. Is this? I said, can you turn this into one of your foreigner knobbers? And he said, yes. Awesome. Yes. I said, okay. Can you yes, slap I a can. fellow's name attached to it? And he said, yes. And we did, what, two runs of those. And you were like, that's a nice drive, eh? It is. <laughs> and I think, yeah, we did like, there's 50 plus of them out there. I think we did at least a couple runs of 25. Then plus a few one-offs here and there. Oh. They got popular. It's weird when you see one for sale in the secondary market. Like I saw one in yeah. Daytona Beach. Daytona oh, yeah. Beach Guitar Center has one sitting there. Really? Yep. Wow. There's a certain but, handmade brand that's very, very obscure. There was like 20 or 30 of them ever made, but they're wonderful tube amps, and I always look for them. It was made by a Florida man, guy down in Florida. And he made amps for uh, Allman Brothers, too. So if you know who it is, you know. If not, it's our little secret. Doug Strong wants the nice drive, eh? But if I have to roughly guess, I think Lawrence is probably up to about 50 pedal models, period. I'm tempted oh, to get another another rival, just it would make a cool little stereo oh. delay rig. 
he's doing something even on a limited basis doesn't matter because you still have to fucking make it you know figure it out yeah. design it right okay um people then you know have a supply chain issues and shit right you hear of it's hard to get yeah. the perks together really because um somebody has been able to was able to release a pedal a month for every month of last year i do believe yeah. who else did that who else did that on the market did boss no what's that crickets mxr also crickets you know those are the big guys the big guns i hear crickets, I hear crickets. yeah who else <laughs> you know got a point there just saying just saying just some saying. were limited runs some are mm -hmm. you know he's, he's expanded the stable let's be honest for the longest time he had basically the three amps in the boxes right the 68 the 74 and the 87 were the three you get them any day of the week right terry if yeah. you go on the website you know and then the rest was limited run stuff here and there yeah. and then now he's got well he's got like the cascade and the offset and the title so you got your chorus your reverb and your delay so that yeah. rounds yourself out nicely as a pedal company especially you know, yeah. now if he does a, a phaser or a flanger and maybe and he's got the analog delay if he wants to bring that back as well he's got a lot of designs that he can bring back at any time is hey, act yeah i'm having here's that boss does make more than 10 pedals but i'm saying they didn't release oh, 10 God. different pedals last year alone. Right. So no, there, no you're issues. right. There wasn't a whole lot of pedal releases over these last two years. Oh, of sorry, the ongoing guys. situation. Audio Those companies, it's a couple a year. Yeah. You know, like the Keeleys and the JHSs and the Wamplers of the world. You know, and then, even then, that's someone designing and then basically outsourcing the building. Whether it be outsourcing to, hey, I hired these awesome people to build them, and they build them better than I could ever build them. All right. Yeah, I was going to say, that's probably the most well-known Canadian pedal builder is Solid Gold Effects. Papa Blue actually oh, has a question. Oh, okay. If you boys were going to build a board for 80s, 90s, heavy metal, what pedals do you, would you use? All right. By 80s metal, we're talking like Sunset Strip, heavier. All right. So you're going to play through a Marshall of some kind. Now, do we have to build the board like we're in that time frame, or we just want that tone? I just use an OPD 87. I'll get you that tone and then boost it with whatever you want. Um, the only thing I can think of effects wise in thinking of 80s and 90s is basically delay chorus and yeah, really delay. high gain. All right, so uh, we got Martin's pedal board here. If this will focus, probably not. This had not be too nice. Come up closer. Mm -hmm. oh, there we go. There we go. Huh. The heck so I'm going to... You got a ditto looper across the top. Hall of Fame. I see LPD rival delay. Something else there. I can't read it. I see a Behringer vibrato. Why not? Some kind of fuzzy fuzz face thingy. He's got the LPD swirl and a gear and the Seikot and the luster and the combustible lemons and the 68 stacked. What's that over there? Love it. Oh, we got a couple little Donner pedals thrown in there that are too small to make out due to screen resolutions and a wah just, you know, slapped right across the top. Okay, that's, 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 that's fine. Holy crap, we've been going two hours tonight. I know. We should probably wrap things up. 
you know, it's because yep. your Forty Five has to leave anyways. So Tom's gonna nod off on us too. <laughs> I can't, of course, nod off because I've been drinking coffee. So. I have not. I watched it. I watched the Cup race today. Though in the Indy race today, in Toronto, in the streets of Toronto, that was cool. See, I was going to say, yeah, that would make you sleep. <laughs> no, no, not when they're doing that world street course and laps in a minute. Mm. In a minute. So yeah. How about you whip around a bunch of streets in Toronto for a minute? A lot. I was okay. That's cool. Mm. Not a lot. Volume pedal? I am, I am not knowing that. What else would it be? Univibe? Rotavibe? <laughs> I don't know. So, on that note, uh, Terry jumped in tonight. Tom jumped in tonight. May have to go back to this because my internet sucks. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. See? Even my digestional system is just like, argh, revolting. Mm-hmm. And again, if you're Canadian, get out there and bitch to the CRTC and your local governments and federal governments about Terry, better internet access. Terry, they put the flags out months ago there. You know, the springtime. I remember I told you, the, the little flags. It says, I remember. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That means they're going to dig up there. You know, otherwise, who cares what where the gas line is, right? Unless you yeah. check before you dig. Well, why would you be digging? Well, there's only a couple reasons. They're going to finally put in city water on this road. <laughs> <laughs> no. That would be a good one. No, because first they would have to run it over the 401. And oh. pass it, right? So, no, <laughs> that, that's not happening. So, no. So, I gone that. No. The other option would be that they're going to bury the ditches, you know, because it's open ditches now. Well, no. No. Right side of town. And they got open ditches in town Welcome, still. Tessie. Don't fuck Rob. So that's not okay. So the only thing left is the old fiber of the optics. Yeah. Mm, fibro. Now I don't know what company and frankly, Terry, I don't care what company puts it in, as long as they do it right. And all yeah. I want to know is let a fellow know who you're putting it in for. You know, because chances are the company is even putting it in it isn't the company that's going to be using it. They just they get another company. Yeah. Right. So I'm like, who are you? <laughs> who are you working for? Bell, Kojiko, Roger? Who are you working for? Which overlord? Okay, that's the overlord I will connect into. <laughs> yeah, that's the one I need to contact and scream at to give me good internet. Yeah. So. But if is... Ben goes Ben goes fiber, he'll like outpace most of us. Oh, I'll be so happy, happy, happy. Yep. Yep. Then we'll, I'll be going live all the time, probably. <laughs> Need to work on a guitar? Fuck it. I'll just go live. <laughs> you know, I'll get a tight soda pop. Screw it. Let's just go live and do it. Ben's going to do dishes. <laughs> I mean, my speed's really fast. I just have bad lighting. And Canucks bad do camera. dishes. And a bad, and a bad <laughs> camera, but... I think my speed is near. Um... I could actually shoot in 4K and be able to upload it and not take a day and a half. I think it's like 980 megabits per second, something like that. Oh my it's, god! It's, it's fiber. Yeah. It's... Like I can download like Terry a 60 gig video game in like 40. See minutes. now, at least you yeah. could change, Doug, because like I only have the option of Bell DSL. Oh, that's what I used to have in my old house. I went from, like, the worst to the best. <laughs> I, got, I got lucky. I mean, you can't. Keith. Can, can, uh, Keith can do it. I don't care who does it. Keith, you can do it. I'll even, you can play my gear. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care who does it. I just, I just, give me a connection. I just want to step into the century. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. So, on that note. We're going to wrap things up. Uh, yeah, I'll be live tomorrow night uh, with Cousin Doug. If you can watch oh, the yes. races again, we'll see. You need to get that clip <laughs> from um, King of Queens. Douglas! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's, I forget the guy's uh, What's his name? Uh, ben Stiller's dad. Passed Which, if nothing else, you just got to tune in Harry for the Stiller. opening segment of our friend Marshall doing his opening. 
right, Terry? Oh, God, that's hilarious. Yeah. I'm surprised I missed that, but now that I've seen it, it's like, oh, my God. I'd go back and watch it if I miss it. It's not sober. (laughs) You could tell that was at the end of an evening. Yeah. Yeah. Jerry Stiller, Doug, thanks. That's, That's the gentleman, yep. Yeah, let's. I like him way better. Uh, Martin's going to be live this Thursday, 3 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central European time, noon Pacific, 10 a.m. If you're metalhead hippie, Uh, check them out. Check them out. They they do a great show. They they know a lot of stuff. It's great. (coughs) And. you can check up Tom coming up this week on. You're on Halenville, aren't you? On Wednesdays. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. You know, when he's able to or awake, it's hard to say. You know, Tom likes nappy. I'm <laughs> telling you, if I get like a one of them newer like 1080p or 4K webcams, I'm not even telling anyone. I'm just gonna hook it up, and then they'll be like, "Whoa, you look much yeah. better." Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you guys have a guest, somebody this week. I forget who it is, but it's pretty cool. Check it out, Halenville. Uh, Fruitcake Tony's channel. Can I announce a birthday party for me on Haleville next Wednesday? Well, you just did, Keith, so sure. Keith's going to be awesome. with us hanging out, I think, yeah. I, I, I might have to tune in for that. You know, i got to make sure to tune in for that. Keith, you're the guest of honor. You can't ruin it. You know what I mean? No, you no. Can't, you can't ruin it by telling us telling anyone no. too early. Yeah, we're going to have no. to um, Thanks, Michael Bean. Take care. Just, just remember, Keith, the benchmark for screwing up a live stream or not is the jakey lee tone talk 100 so. <laughs> percent. the friend in the background on the bed yeah the friend that was that was so good was like, that's my wife yeah the wife was that's how dave b freeman became known as the wife whisper that was that was something <laughs> yep uh i got a soda pop video coming out this week what kind oh yeah i already shot it that's right Nice. I had it. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so um, then now uh, we're starting the Kramer project. I think tomorrow. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, isn't it, Terry? It's like actually, I don't know what the weather is like. According to what my cell phone said about 45 minutes ago, it's actually supposed to get five degrees warmer. Well, I know. No, it's supposed to be like hot and rain, so it's like showering outside. <laughs> It, uh, today was that. It was 75 and raining. Oh, really? Great. Oh, yeah. Today was uh, we we hit like 83, 84. Oh, okay. 90, yeah, okay. No, I'll, I'll probably. humidity. So, uh, yeah, Tom, 87 and humid tomorrow. So I'm probably going to start the Kramer project tomorrow because, you know, central air. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Nice. Yeah. Humidity level. Keith Campbell, 92% where I am. Yeah, that's like yeah, all the not. It was, I was all the soaked outside. Yeah, yes, yeah, so that's it's, a free it's t-shirt. Nothing like going through the rainforest. <laughs> well, it's like it rained all day today, so I know I got to mow the lawn. But I'm like, Christ, I'm like, do I do it like in a jacket and long pants and just sweat my ass off for an hour and a half? You know, you or do it like in your box, or, or, or do it in a t-shirt and jeans or t-shirt and shorts and get a sunburn, you know, from the direct, eh, you know, and then you're sweating your ass off and the grass is all coming around and just sticking to you at that point. So, eh, you know, oh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, oh that's, that's like, a, oh, and I got to do the brakes on the van too. Dang it. Yeah. Oh, fellow could really use some shade for that. May have to wait till the afternoon for the tree to give some shade on the driveway. So it's just, not all the asphalt just re. Just, Unless you do it at the break of dawn, which would be five, really, five Terry? six in the morning. <laughs> That's bedtime. That's not getting up. Right. Yeah, That's I bedtime. know. You, your bedtime is like your wake time is like nine plus. <laughs> yeah. I bet it is right. Yeah, humidity has to be two hundred percent Tennessee. I, I, I thought I read it was like two fourteen yesterday. Well, uh, it was it about half an hour before I started tonight? Just you know to ramble on more. Ben After raining on and off all day, Tom, the sun just totally broke out, and all of a sudden it rose up to like 86, 87 degrees, direct sunlight. 
but everything is soaking wet yeah. and you can just see mist. Just everything's just evaporating in the air and it's just yeah. like Ooh. I wear these super thin t shirts I got on sale. The cat who loves the heat went, No. 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 That's just all the humidity. So it was like five thousand percent humidity. So there we go. Yeah. On that note, that's Terry, that's Tom, that's Ben. That's Lucas, Scott. it that's is like Keith. being underwater. That's Keith. That's Keith. That's Keith. That's Keith. That's Ryan. That's Keith. That's Martin. That's you. That's Keith. That's, us. that's Doug. Hold those doors open. Let Doug's wife it, or you know, or Doug's wife. Doug's wife or Doug's wife. Or Terry, the wife that you know, like <laughs> married to Doug. Or Doug's wife, because Doug's. Coming from LA tomorrow in temp. Oh, yeah, she's yeah, she's gonna just go. It's more humid. That's it. So exactly. be good to each other. Be well. Happy tone chasing and all that fun stuff. Where's the end? Doug's wife's real and Doug's wife's real. Both of them are. And I watched Doug Doppler on Saturday mornings, and his wife Melissa's real too. So Doug's wife's real. Doug's wife's real and Doug's wife's real. Exactly. And on that note, right, right, right. Love you, no, there. Oh, hand cramp. Hang on. There we go. Shake it out, and don't let her. <laughs> <laughs>